want him. We're moving house soon, so Mummy says we should give away some of our old toys. She wants us to put old toys that we don't play with anymore into a big box, then take them to the charity shop for other children to buy. Are you okay, Tim? No, Mummy. I don't want to give away our old toys. Oh, Tim. Come on. One step at a time. Help. Okay, Topsy. <laughs> okay, Topsy and Tim, please try and find some old toys and fill up this box. I don't want to, it's not fair. We love all our toys, Mummy. Oh, please try to find some old toys that you don't play with anymore. Um, oh, you could start by looking in here, Tim. Hello. And I will come back in a minute to see how full the box is. Oh, this box is full of all my old cars. Oh. And this one was always my favourite. <coughs> come on, Tim. You need to be putting some of your old toys in the box. I don't want to. I'm going to try. Bye-bye, old Teddy. <gasps> Topsy! <laughs> Sorry, Tim. Keep on throwing the toys down and I'll catch them. Bye-bye, <clears throat> Knitted Zebra. So I throw Cheeky Duck and Knitted Zebra and Digger down to Tim and all my other toys from the shelf too. Bye bye Monkey Hen. Bye Big Monkey. Finished. I've hidden everything, all our old toys, under the bed, so we can keep them. <laughs> can I see? Yes. <laughs> Hello, Chicky Duck. Have you finished in there, twins? <gasps> <gasps> We're going to have to tell Mummy that we want to keep all of our old toys, Tim. I know that. Apple juice and biscuits for the workers. Oh. Why aren't there any old toys in your charity box? You say. No, you say. We're, We're sorry, sorry Mummy. Mommy. We hid all of our toys under the bed. We want, because we want to keep them. Oh, Topsy and Tim. You don't have to give away your old toys if you don't want to. But it would be a very kind thing if you did. Why? Well, because you don't play with them anymore, do you? And other children might like to. We're moving house soon, and that's the perfect time to get rid of anything that we don't need anymore. I've decided that my toys can go in the box. about this, Topsy? Yes. I don't play with them anymore. And other children might like to. Oh, that's very kind of you, Topsy. Good girl. Tim? I don't want to give away my old cars, Mummy. Even though Topsy's giving away her teddies? No, thank you. But someone else would love to play with your old cars, Tim. Really? <laughs> How about if you chose one to keep and you gave the rest away? OK. I know exactly which car I want to keep. This one. <laughs> My fast Good flashing choice. car. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Topsy. Oops! 
Excuse me, Tim, coming through. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> the charity shop are going to be so pleased with all of our old toys, aren't they? Oh, they really are, Topsy. Mrs Odell. Hello. I'm Robbie from the estate agent. Come to put your soul sign up. Oh, great. Thank you, Robbie. Oh, Mummy, please may I help Robbie put the sign up? Yes, of course you can, Tim. Just stay safely on the front lawn for me. OK. Sold. Yes, sold. Somebody is going to buy your house. Did you know that? Yes, they're called Trish and Sam. We've met them, and they're going to have twin babies. That looks like a good car. This is my favourite car. It goes really, really fast. Look. That is a great car. My little boy, Peter, had one just like that, but he lost it at the beach. Hmm. Robbie? Yeah? Will you give this card to Peter? Will he? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Today, we're giving some of our old toys away, and I want this one to be Peter's. Well, that's very kind. Tim, isn't it? Yes. Well, Tim, my little boy will take very good care of your car, and I'll make sure he doesn't lose it. Thank you. You're a very kind boy. You did it, Tim. Well done, Tim. I'll never give you away, Little Moon Bunny. Moon. Never, ever. And I'll never give you away, Dr Sausage Dog and Eddie Teddy. I love you two. <laughs> and that's when Mummy said, Soon there will be new baby twins in this bedroom. Soon there will be new little baby twins in this bedroom, Topsy and Tim, and all their toys. Oh, yes. Sam and Trish are going to have new twin babies, aren't they? Mummy, I'm going to find one last old toy to leave in this room for the new babies. Oh, okay, Me too! Tim. All right, you two, but not right now. Back into bed and snuggle up. It's a great idea, Aww. and you can both do it in the morning. Right now, it's time for sleep. Night light, Twintastic Topsy, Twintabulous Tim, and all your toys. And that, said Mummy, was that. Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we cleared out some of our old toys. Can you remember which toy I gave to Robbie? Was it Chicky Duck? Or was it my fast flashing car? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is Tim's fast flashing car. Watch this. Robbie? Yeah? Will you give this card to Peter? Will he? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Today, we're giving some of our old toys away and I want this one to be Peter's. Well, that's very kind. Tim, isn't it? Yes. Well, Tim... My little boy will take very good care of your car and I'll make sure he doesn't lose it. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Where's the last piece? Got it. Tony Welch and Vinder are coming to play. So we've got our marble run out. Hey, hey, quick, let's try it. But it isn't Tony or Vinder. It's Grandma and Mosty the dog. Hi, everyone, I've let myself in. No! Hi, Mosty! Oh. <sighs> Hello, where's my hello, Grandma Huggle 
Topsy and Tim. Come on. Oh, hello, Jean. Oh, hi, hi Joy. I brought these over for the twins. Aww, these you. are the marbles your dad played with when he was young. I thought you could use them for your marble thingy. Thank you, Grandma. There's oh. loads. Mm, good. There are marbles in there, but mm. this is called a marble room, Grandma. Oh, yes. The marble mm. goes in here. Yes. And all there. Right. Around there. Yes. And comes out of there, there, there and there. Oh, I see. There's too many to count. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Did Mossy break it? Yes. Oh, you scamp. She did, but it's OK, Mossy. Good. We can rebuild it. Good, good, good. Right, come on, Mossy. You marble run masher. <laughs> Let's finish our walkies. Come on, girl. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye, Grandma. Thank you for the marbles. Bye, Jean. Bye, Grandma. Hello, Elaine. Hi, Tony Welch. Yes. Come in. Hi, Mrs O'Dell. How are you? Fine. Tony's got a play date with Tim. Oh, they got the marble run out. Great! <laughs> oh, hi, Johnny. Can you help me? I'll drop to take Tony off later, OK? Thanks, Joy. Have fun, Tony. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See, Vinder will be here in a minute. OK. Hurry up, Vinder. This bit goes here. Yes. Can I put a piece on, please? Please, can I put a bit on? This bit goes here. Yes. And this bit goes here. Oh, yeah. And these are Dad's old marbles. He plays with them as a kid. Let's see. Oh, Topsy Vinder's here. Yay! <laughs> Hi, Jazz. Hi, Vinder. I'll bring Vinder back about five. Is that OK? Come on, Vinder. Hi, Vinder. Hi. <laughs> a marble run. Can I play? Please. Let's make a marble one of our own. Shall we, Vinda? Yes, but how? Using all of this. We can make a marble one that's better than the boys. It's OK. Mummy! Please come use the cardboard recycling. Yes, just don't make a mess, you two. We're going upstairs, Tim. Come on. is really good with the tricky bits of the marble run. I'll do this bit. Vinda and I are using all of the old cardboard to make a long marble run of our own. Our marble run is going to be the best ever. Yeah. I'll tape it. Okay. There we are, all tapes. Where's the top? Bit. <sighs> there should be another one of these. I know. Topsy, I've got an idea. Let's make our mother and go down the stairs. Well, here's the last piece. There's always one bit that has to go missing. Oh, I remember. I put it here so I wouldn't lose it. Oh, Tony. Now we can put it on to make a completed marble run. Yes! <laughs> OK, Topsy, now try rolling a marble down. Run. Wow, 
Did you make that marble run? Yes. yes. It's brilliant. But I can make it even better. How? I'll show you Topsy. OK, but don't break our marble run. I don't even need to touch it. Mummy, can you help me? Ooh, what do you need? I just need to pick this up and connect it to Topsy's marble run. Brilliant idea. Here we go, then. Oh, I see. We attach our marble run to their marble run. OK, let's pop This is going to be the best marble run ever. Careful, yeah, Topsy, there we go. I'll put the first <laughs> marble in. Can I use Dad's old marbles, please, Tim? Oh, yes. yes. Here you go, Topsy. Thank you. Really good teamwork, everyone. That's great. Ready? Yes. Now, Topsy. Three, two, one. Go, Marble! Go, go Marble! around the sofa, Tony. We've got lots more. Got it. And I found this. Is this a picture of your new house? No, because I don't want to move to a new house. Oh, well done, Tony. I've been looking for that all morning. Is it our new house? It might be. Who wants to see it? Me. Me. <laughs> and that's when Vinda said... It looks lovely. I'd love to live in a house like that. It looks lovely. I'd love to live in a house like that, Topsy and Tim. Wow, that's a big house. Yes, we can make a bigger marble run. Oh, good thinking, Tim. I'd I can't like wait. To move to a big house like that, and it's even got a red front door, see? That's right, it does. But now, I want to go on the marble run. And then it's my turn next. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the mummy. Was that? Hey, Hello. Um, Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Can you remember what Grandma brought round for us today? Was it a bag of sweets? Or was it a bag of marbles? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a bag of marbles. Watch this. Oh, hi, hi Joy. I brought these over for the twins. Aww, these you. are the marbles your dad played with when he was young. I thought you could use them for your marble thingy. Thank you, Grandma. That's oh, loads. So good. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. <gasps> They're here. Kerry's mum and dad are at the door. They're having dinner with our mummy and dad tonight. It's a goodbye dinner party for grown-ups. Because we're moving house tomorrow. Hi guys, come on in. <laughs> oh Hi Brian, hi Joy. Thanks for inviting us. <laughs> oh. I made this trifle for pudding. Oh, thank you. Can we help with any last minute packing? No, no thanks Carson. We're all set for the moving van in the morning, as you can see. Oh, hello Topsy and Tim. Are you excited about the move tomorrow? Yeah. Yes. Where's Kerry? Oh, she's with Danielle, the babysitter. Wow, Dominique, that trifle looks so nice. <laughs> Please, can we come down and have some? Oh, no, Topsy, I'm sorry. This is our pudding. Oh. 
please don't need it all tonight. <laughs> please, can you save some trifle for us? <laughs> Maybe. But right now, you need to say goodnight to everyone and I'll come up and tuck you in. Good night, everyone. Good night, Good night. Good night. Come on. Wait for me. Mummy tucks us into our beds. Night, night, night my top tastic twins. Night, 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 mummy. Straight off to sleep, please. Tomorrow is a very busy day. So we lie in bed for ages and think about moving house tomorrow. But we can't sleep. Tim? Yes, Tom, say. I think I'm too excited to get to sleep. Me too. I'm wide awake. <laughs> Tomorrow night, we'll be in our own separate bedrooms, in our new house. These bunk beds will be in Tony Wilcher's house. Oh, yeah. This is our last night of sleeping in our bunk beds, before we give them to Tony. I'll miss our bunk beds. I'll never sleep on the bottom bunk again. And I'll never sleep on the top bunk again. Let's hop round one last time. Yes! I'm going to go and see. Come on, little moon bunny. Come on, Tim. I love you, little moon bunny. Did anyone see you? I don't think so. I saw Mummy. Did you see the trifle? No, I didn't. Why don't you go down and get Eddie Daddy and see it? OK. <laughs> Eddie Daddy and I go to spy on the trifle. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't see the trifle, so I get a little bit closer. <laughs> How long did that take? Not long, actually. About 20 minutes. Because you, you ate the first two attempts, obviously. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> No, the custard, I didn't make the custard from scratch, I have to admit. Well, it looks absolutely incredible. Who wants some? Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> yeah. That's mine. go back to bed and I think about the trifle until I hear them leaving. Oh, thank you 
so much for the lovely dinner. Oh, thank you for coming. I'm really going to miss having you so close by. Remember, we're only moving two roads away. Oh, you still bring Carrie over to play. <laughs> oh. Well, we'll come and wave you off tomorrow. Oh, and um, I hope Topsy and Tim enjoy the trifle we left for them. Oh, well, thank you. I'm sure they will. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you later. Mm -hmm. Bye. Yes, trifle. Topsy, are you still awake? Have that some trifle for us. Hooray! Shh. Quick, get into bed. Mummy and Dad heard us and came up to our bedroom. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Mummy. Hello, Dad. Topsy, Tim, have you swapped bunk beds again? Why aren't you both asleep? We were too excited about tomorrow. Sorry. Mm, sorry. And that's when Mummy said, That's, that's okay. okay. Moving house is a big, big adventure. That's okay. Moving house is a big adventure, Topsy and Tim. I don't think I'll get much sleep tonight either, but I'm going to try. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm excited about waking up and having trifle for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing? The whole thing. And that is worth going to sleep for. And that, said Dad, was that. Remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play! <laughs> today, Mummy and Dad had a goodbye dinner party for grown ups. Can you remember what pudding Carson and Dominique brought round? Was it trifle? Or was it a cake? The answer is behind the cloud. The answer is a trifle. Mm. Watch this. Hi guys, come on in. <laughs> Hi Brian. Hi Joy. Thanks for inviting us. I brought a trifle for pudding. Thank you. Can we help with any last minute packing? No, no, thanks, Carson. We're all ready for the removal van in the morning, as you can see. Oh, hey, Topsy and Tim. Are you excited about the move tomorrow? Yeah. Yes. Where's Kerry? Oh, she's with Danielle, the babysitter. Wow, Dominique, that trifle looks so nice. <laughs> Please, can we come down and have some? Oh, no, Topsy, I'm sorry. This is our pudding. Please don't eat it all tonight. <laughs> Please, can you save some trifle for us? <laughs> Great game! That was good fun. See you soon. When we look after Grandma's dog, Mossy, we feed her and play with her and take her for walks. Here you go, Mossy. A nice drink for you. Oh, Mossy, look, Mossy. Always super wash your hands, please, Tim, after touching Mossy's bowl. OK. Soon it'll be time for your walk, won't it, Mossy? Let's go and find your bowl. Come on, Mossy. Come on. I'll get it. That'll be Tony. Wait for me, Tim, before you open the front door. Look, me. Mummy, it's just Tony, won't you? OK, Tim. You can open the door for Tony. Hello. Hello. Tony's mummy has to go to the doctor's. So Tony is staying to play. Mossy! Come back about five ish, is that okay? Great. See you next time. Mossy! I love you, Mossy! 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 I think Mossy really likes me. Tony, look, she's very clever.
Mama, when I roll the ball to her, she rolls it back again. Show me! Mussy! 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 Push it! Wow! Wow! wow. Clever girl, Mussy! I love you, Mussy! She's so clever! Let's give Mussy a nice treat for yes. being such a clever girl. I think she deserves one. Yes. Wait for me. Come on. Can we give Mossy a treat, please? Yes, go ahead. She's are been a good dog. Uh, yeah, they're down there, good girl. Oh. Mossy knows where they are. Ask Mossy if she wants a treat. Do you want a treat, Mossy? Yeah. Yes? <laughs> no. Sit. Sit, Mossy. Sit. <laughs> Good girl, Mossy. Can I give Mossy a doggy treat? No, sorry. You can't, Tony. You see, Grandma says that she can only have one treat at a time. No more, no more. All gone. <laughs> well done, Tim. Now, can you double super wash your hands for me, please? Okay. I'm going to go and wash my hands upstairs, Mummy. Okay. Come on, Mossy! Good girl. Is it time to take Mossy out for her walk now, Mummy? Yes, it is. Can I hold Mossy's lead today, please, Mrs O'Dell? Yes, you can take it in turns to hold the lead. Now, let's get ready to go out. Come on. Sometimes, when Mossy's a little bit naughty... Oh, Mossy, Mossy, you little scamp! We know it's definitely time for her walk. I'm going to have to throw this toilet roll away now. <coughs> Hurry up, please, Topsy, before Mossy does anything else silly. OK, Mummy! <laughs> oh, oh, Mossy, you need a walk. No pulling. Hurry up, Topsy. I think Mossy needs a wee. Now, Tim, remember, keep your finger on that button to stop Mossy's lead getting any longer so she can't go any further away, OK? OK. Let's get her to her favourite bit of hedge, quickly. Yeah. Topsy! I'm trying to find Mossy's ball. Yeah, Topsy, I think the ball's underneath the sofa. Thanks, Mummy. Now, Tim, have you remembered the poo bags that Grandma Jean brought round? Oh, no. Sorry, I'll get them. OK. Can I hold Mossy's lead, please? Oh, yes, you can. Hold that for me. I'll just get the phone. I'll be back in a moment. Look after Mossy. Uh -huh. This is a great lead, Mossy. Hello? Oh, Jean, yes. Yet, yeah, no, Mossy's fine. Uh -huh. We're just about to take her for her afternoon walk. No, it's fine. Don't worry. We'll see you later. OK, bye. Got it. Was that Grandma, Mummy? Yes, it was. Just to remind us about Mossy's walk. Come on, let's get going. I found the poo bags. Could someone help me with Mossy's lead, please? Come in, Tony. Where's Mossy? <gasps> She's on Mr and Mrs Fishwick's lawn. No, no Mossy, no. Front lawn. <gasps> Mossy! She heard she's done a poo! Look, children, I'll sort this out. You stay here. Poo bag, please, Tim. Here you go. Thank you. I'll be right back. So, so don't, don't worry about it. It's perfectly natural. <laughs> Hello, Mr. 
Mr. Fishwick. Ah. <laughs> oh, Mr. Fishwick, sorry about Mossy. Ah, oh, you're Mossy. <laughs> go on, I'll see you later. Go on, Mossy, go, go. Mr. Fishwick is always really kind to Mossy, isn't he? And that's when Tony said, I, I wonder what your new neighbours will, will be like. I wonder what your new neighbours will be like, Topsy and Tim. Like Mr. and Mrs. Fishwick, I hope. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, in we come. Come on in, Mossy. Excuse me. Thank you. There we go. Come on, Mossy. Let go of her topsy sweet. Oh, good girl. Come on, Mossy. There we go. Good girl. Mummy, will our new neighbours be just as kind to Mossy? Like Mr. and Mrs. Fishwick are? Yes, I should think so. Now, I need to wash my hands and then we can go for walkies. But I'm holding on to the lead this time. <laughs> <laughs> and that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we looked after Grandma's dog, Mossy. But can you remember what Mossy took from the bathroom? Was it a toothbrush? Or was it a toilet roll? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a toilet roll. Watch this. Good girl, Mossy. Stay. No, Mossy! Mossy, come back! No, Mossy! Uh-oh! Mum! Sometimes, when Mossy's a little bit naughty... Oh, Mossy, you Mossy. little scamp! We know it's definitely time for her walk. I'm going to have to throw this toilet roll away now. <coughs> Hurry up, please, Topsy, before Mossy does anything else silly. OK, Mummy! Great game! <laughs> that was good fun. See you soon! Hi, Kerry. Come on in, everybody. Hi, Joey. Hi, Topsy. Oh, hi. Hi, Kerry. 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 Hi
Oh, you are holding it's a really well, Topsy. Good girl. Please, may I hold Puppy now? Yes, Tim. Mummy says if we look after Poppy and Bailey nicely this weekend, we can have a pet of our own when we move. You There's ready? a man in our garden. Oh, yes, I nearly forgot. What? Let's pop Bailey back in and I'll explain. He's putting a sign up, Mummy. Yes, he's been sent from the estate agents. They're putting a sign up to say that our house is for sale. Why? Well, so that anyone looking for a house to buy can see it. Hello! Wave tin! Oh, he's going now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> <gasps> the door of the cage is open! Oh, no! Oh. Where's Poppy gone? I can't see Bailey anywhere. Um, we've lost them. <sighs> Mummy? Sorry, we haven't looked after them very well. Oh, I should have checked that the gate was shut. Come on, we'll find them. Okay. Might be under the sofa. Mommy? Have a look over there. Is it under here? Let's see. Bobby, Bailey! Bobby, Bailey! Where are you? Oh. Bobby, Bailey! Maybe they're by the toys. Oh, good idea. I'll have a look in the hall by the shoes and boots. OK. We search everywhere, all afternoon. But we can't find the guinea pigs. They're not upstairs, Tim. What are we going to do? Mummy, what if we never find Kerry's guinea pigs? We will. We just have to keep looking. Hmm. I know. Mr Fishwick keeps pet rabbits. He might know what to do. Oh, that's a brilliant idea, Tim. Thank you for helping us, Mr Fishwick. Well, now, tell me again what happened, Topsy and Tim. Well, we were looking after Kerry's guinea pigs while she's away, but they got out of their run. And now we can't find them anywhere in the house. Mm. Not even in their own house. I <laughs> see. Escaped guinea pigs. Right. Well, we'd better get this sorted. <coughs> Mr Fishwick knows just what to do. If you're looking for a guinea pig, you've got to think like a guinea pig. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, it's like this. Have you been calling for them in a loud voice? Yes, very loud. Ah, well, that's not the right thing to do. You imagine, if you're really small and you hear a lot of shouting, well, what would you do? Hide. Well done. And what would you feel? Hmm. Scared. That's right, so you wouldn't want to come out, would you? Now, what do you think would make you want to come out? I know food! Exactly. So where's the guinea pig's food, Topsy? That's it. Now then. Get that box out. There's a good girl. There it is. Good okay, manage. Now if you if you shake that, when they hear it, they'll think it's dinner time. Well done, Topsy. <laughs> That's the idea. That's it. Shake the guinea pig's food box again. That's very good. And no loud noises, though, Topsy. That's it. Shake the food box again. There. Now, Tim, no sudden movements. Just very quietly. And listen, listen. Mummy's handbag. 
all along. Oh my goodness. Come on, Poppy and Bailey. Well done. I think they like it in your handbag. Can I hold? Yes, you can. This time. Oh, you go if we didn't see them Jeffy before, Jeffy 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 Jeffy. then you might have brought them to the shops. There. Well done, oh. Topsy and Tim. I think I see You like are them. top class pet sitters. You really are. <laughs> Bailey and Poppy are very lucky. Thank you for your help, Mr. Fishwick. Thank you. <laughs> That's my pleasure. Gently now. Now we need to make sure we close the gate. Perfect. Thank you, Tim. You guinea pigs are very good at escaping and hiding. Mummy? Yes, Topsy? Please can we have a pet of our own when we move house? And that's when Mummy said. Yes, I, I think, think so. so. Yes, I think so, Topsy and Tim. You can have a pet when we move house because you are very caring and loving pet sitters. Hooray! <laughs> We're getting our pets! We're getting our pets! We're getting our pets! We're getting our pets! And remember what Mr Fishwick said. No loud noises. <laughs> and that's the mummy. Was that? <laughs> Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Poppy and Bailey escaped today. Can you remember where they were hiding? Were they under the sofa? Or were they in Mummy's handbag? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is Mummy's handbag. Watch this. Fun. See you soon. It's Mossy! Hello, Mossy! Whenever Mossy the dog arrives, Grandma is always close behind. Hello! Hello, Grandma! Hello, Hello lovelies! <laughs> Your hair looks different, Grandma. Yes. Do you like the red? It took the hairdresser all morning to colour it. I think you look pretty. Oh. Mummy, can I have red hair like Grandma? <laughs> no, I don't think so, Topsy. Oh. Where's my Hello Grandma Huggle? Squeeze! Who wants to help me unpack the shopping? Me! me. I, I do! do. Go on, <laughs> now I've got what did you get? We love seeing what Mummy's bought at the shops. What's in the bag? <laughs> show you, you two are both getting bigger yes. and you're growing out of the clothes yes. that you're already wearing. So, Topsy, for you, <gasps> new big girl jeans. Wow, they've got butterflies on them. Look, Dad, <laughs> look, Tim. <gasps> well done, Mummy. <laughs> and for you, Tim, I got these. What do you think? I just want new clothes. Come and have a look. Look, these ones have got a dinosaur on them. Are they a good choice? What do you say? Thank you, Mummy. Good boy. Thank you, Mummy. I love my new jeans. <laughs> Grandma! Okay. Grandma! Look at my new jeans! Look, Grandma. I've got butterflies on my new jeans. May I try them on now, please, Mummy? Yeah, of course you can, Topsy. Tim, do you want to try your new dinosaur jeans on now? No. Mossy needs a biscuit. Good girl. No more. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need any more, see? Well done, Tim. Now, no double wash your hands, please. <laughs> What's that? It's a special chart designed to 
find to show how tall you are compared to different animals. I want to be as tall as a dinosaur. <laughs> OK, well, dry your hands and we can see how tall you are. Like a Brachiosaurus. Come on. Hi, Chart. Come on. And stand against the wall for me. Stand up straight. Perfect. All right, let's see how tall you are. And step away. Look, you are a cheetah. As tall as a cheetah from nose to tail. <gasps> Rawr. Rawr. Fastest land animal in the world, apparently. Wow. How fast can you run? Rawr! <laughs> Rawr! Steady, Tim. Goodbye, Grandma Huggle, please. I've got a bus to catch. Bye-bye, Mossy. Oh, bye-bye, Mossy. Got her now. That's it. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, Mossy. Bye, Grandma. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. can you carry that up to the bathroom for me, please? Oh. OK, Mummy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bye, Jean. Bye, love. Go, I'll see you in your dinosaur jeans yeah. next time I pop over to. Bye. <laughs> Out. I've measured myself, and I'm as tall as a gorilla. <laughs> and this gorilla likes cheetahs so much, he gobbles them Try your new jeans on for me, please. Just to see if they fit. Oh, Mummy! I don't want to. I like what I've got on. Oh, well, darling, you and Topsy, you're getting bigger. And your clothes don't fit you anymore. You need new clothes. Oh, look. Do you remember these? Our old, old t shirts. <laughs> Grandma bought them for your second birthday. Look how tiny they are. Oh, and look at these. Your little dungarees with holes in the knees. Red for... Tulsi and blue for me. Hey. That's right. You used to wear these all the time. I can't believe they ever fitted you, my big boy Tim. You know what? We need to get rid of some old clothes to make room for your new clothes. Topsy can help me find some bags. <laughs> had matching twin clothes and today you've bought us different clothes. Because you and Topsy are getting bigger, you're growing up and you like different things now. Oh yeah. Yeah. I like dinosaurs. That's why you bought me dinosaur jeans. That is exactly right. And I got Topsy sparkly butterflies on her jeans. Because she likes butterflies. <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> I'm wearing my old trousers as wings. Oh. <laughs> I've got them. I'm a golden eagle. Dad measured me on the animal height charts. I can fly! <laughs> no. Yes, please try on your new jeans, Tim. So I put on my new dinosaur jeans and, guess what? I really like them. <gasps> you look all grown up, son. <laughs> What's for lunch? Spaghetti bolognese. Those new dinosaur jeans fit you really nicely, Tim. Thank you. <laughs> look at us. We're wearing different jeans. We're not twins anymore, Mummy. Oh, yeah. Of course you are. You'll always be twins. You're my twins. You are Twintastic Topsy and Twintabulous Tim. <laughs> You're just growing up, that's all. And I think your bedroom isn't big enough for two growing <laughs> twins and all their big clothes anymore, is it? It's not big And that's when Mummy said, if we move house, 
You could, could each have, have a bedroom of your own. If we move to a bigger house, you can each have a bedroom of your own. What do you think about that? <laughs> would I be able to have butterfly wallpaper to match my gym? <laughs> yes, of course you would. Well, that's sorted. Now, double wash your hands. It's time for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the mummy. What was that? <laughs> Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Mummy came back with some new clothes. But can you remember what clothes she bought us? Were they new shorts? Or were they new jeans? The answer is behind the clouds. The answer is new jeans. Watch this. What's for lunch? Spaghetti bolognese. Those new dinosaur jeans fit you really nicely, Tim. Thank you. <laughs> Look at us. We're wearing different jeans. We're not twins anymore, Mummy. Oh, yeah. Of course you are. You'll always be twins. You're my twins. You are Twintastic Topsy and Twintabulous Tim. <laughs> You're just growing up, that's all. And I think your bedroom isn't big enough for two growing <laughs> twins and all their big clothes anymore, is it? It's not big Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. love to invite friends to our house to play. <laughs> Mummy makes cakes and we think of fun things to do. Is my quad bike working, Mummy? Well, it's been charging all night, Tim, so the battery should be full. Why don't you take it outside and try it? Oh, yay. My friend Tony Welch is coming today. We're going to play on my quad bike in the garden. And my friend Binder and I are going to decorate cakes. It's working, Mummy! Oh, good! Would you like to try one of the cakes now that they've cooled, Topsy? Yes, please, Mummy. They smell very nice. They really do. Mummy's got a baby in her tummy, but she doesn't know if it's a boy or a girl. I think it's a baby girl. Tony hopes it's a baby boy. I'm going to find out today at the hospital. I'll be back about five. Is that okay, Joy? Yes, no problem. I'll see you later, Elaine. Bye. Bye, <laughs> Bye Elaine. When is Finder going to be here, Mummy? Oh, soon, Topsy. I know. Why don't we make the cake icing together now so that it's ready for when Vinda arrives? Yes? Yes! <laughs> Hands wash first, please. Okay. Super wash! While we wait for Vinda, Mummy shows me how to make icing. Yummy! <laughs> Perfect. Keep stirring. You're doing such a good job. Tim! Tim! Fun, fun, fun! Oh, Mummy, where is Vinda? Oh, I'm sure Vinda will be here any minute. Come on, let's ice these cakes before the icing goes hard. Tony, my turn now. Please, can I just have one more go? <laughs> Good 
tops if you come and sit here for me. Good girl. And then once you've iced the cake, you can then put the chocolate sprinkles on. So I'll hold this and you sprinkle that over the top for me. Brilliant, really shake it. Brilliant. Perfect. Okay, that's enough. Look, Mummy, V for Vinda. That's a lovely V, Topsy. <laughs> Tim, look at the cake I made for Vinda. Oh, yeah. Can I decorate a cake too, Mummy? Oh, no, Tim. These are just for Vinda and Topsy to decorate. Why aren't you playing in the garden with Tony? I'm letting Tony have another go. Oh, don't worry. Go on through, Good girls. Jackie. We're making cakes. I made one for you. Come and see. Hi, Tim. Hi, Vinda. Look at the cake I made for you, Vinda. Look, that for Vinda. Thank you. Mm. I'm going to have this one. <laughs> I'm going to take this one. You're going to decorate them. Come on, girls. Mm. Mm. Here you go. Tony, my turn now. Okay, I'll drive it to you. <laughs> it's not working. Tim, Tim. No, Mummy. I haven't even had it go on the quad bike yet, and it's broken. Oh, Tim, it's not broken. It just needs charging. Tim, oh, Tony. It takes ages. Oh, just be patient. If Tony brings it here, we can charge it up. Binda. Yeah. That looks like a princess cake. I know, because it's for my mum. Really? Yeah. I know. Why don't we show our cakes to the boys? OK. Come on. That's really good. <laughs> oh, yay. I'll pull it and you push it. OK. Tony, you can give that cake to your mummy, Vinda. I didn't even get one go on my quad bike. I think I want to go home now, Mrs O'Dell. What time's my mum coming, please? Sorry, Tim. Well, if you stay, you can have pizza. Pizza! Yes, please! Pizza made everyone happy again. Who wants the last piece of pizza? Me! Yes! Oh, it's okay. You can have it. We can share it. Oh, yeah, that'll be great. Good to see ya. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. And as we were finishing our tea, the doorbell went again. It was Tony and Vinda's mums. Look who's here. It's home time. Hi, Tony. Hi. Hi. We wanted to stay a bit longer. <laughs> oh, hey, I've got some news. Ooh. Especially for you, Tony. The baby in my tummy is a boy. You're going to have a baby brother. Oh, and he can play with all my toys. And when he arrives, you can bring him here for a play date. <laughs> <laughs> but that's when Tony said, But my mum says you're selling this house. But my mum says you're selling this house, Topsy and Tim. So we can't come here for a play date again, can we? Isn't that right, Mummy? Well, Tony, I said it was something that we were thinking about doing. But we don't want to sell our house. Where will we live? In another house. And we won't move far from here so that you can still see your friends Tony and Vinda whenever you like. I promise. Yay! And that's it, Mummy. What was that? Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us 
today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we had a double play date with our friends, Tony Welch and Vinda. Can you remember who bumped into the cakes? Was it Topsy? Or was it Tony? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is Tony. Watch this. <laughs> Binda? Yeah? That looks like a princess cake. I know, because it's for my mum. Really? Yeah. I know. Why don't we show our cakes to the boys? OK. Come on. That's really good. <laughs> oh, yay. I'll pull it and you push it. OK. Tony, no! Whoa! Whoa! Sorry. Great game! Good fun. See you soon. Where are you going, Mummy? To a restaurant, Topsy. Please, can I come? I'll wear my fairy dress. Oh, not tonight, Topsy. Anyway, it's a special night for you two, remember? Oh, yes. Tim and I are swapping bunk beds tonight. Tim's sleeping on the top and I'm sleeping on the bottom bunk for the first time. Mummy! Dad! Look at me! I'm on the bottom bunk! That can be your babysitter. I'll go. Tim! It's our babysitter! Careful, Topsy! I'll get to the door before you! <laughs> Miss B. Hello. Oh, hello, Mr. Fishman. Hi, Danielle, come in. Hello, hello Mr. Fishman. Hello. hello. Here we are, Danielle. Oh, forget your stuff. <laughs> Mr. Fishwick lives next door. His granddaughter, Danielle, is babysitting for us tonight for the first time. Oh, lovely. Oh, do you Do you like babysitting, Danielle? I love babysitting Topsy and Tim. <laughs> Danielle has done lots of babysitting before, so she'll look after you. <laughs> Thank you for babysitting for us. Hi, Mr Fishwick. Hello there, Joy. <laughs> right, I'll be off. See you later, Danny. Bye, Granddad. Bye. 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 I don't want to go to sleep until you're back, Mummy. Oh, Topsy, please go to sleep as usual for Danielle. Will you come and see us on our new bunk beds when you get back, Mummy? <laughs> of course I will, Tim. Oh. Danielle, the twins are swapping bunk beds tonight. Excited! I'm on the top and I'm on the bottom! Wow! Now, be good, you two. You've got our number if you need anything, haven't you? Yeah, 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 we'll be fine. Thanks. OK, see you later. Night, night. <laughs> be good. Night, night. Oh, I'm going to sleep until you get back, Mummy. <laughs> Don't forget I'm on the top bunk. OK. Your slippers, Danielle. Oh, thank you. They're yeah, funny. <laughs> These are my favourite. Look at that. <laughs> okay, up to bed for you two. Aww. We usually have a milky drink before we go to bed and a biscuit. Oh, well, come on then, help me find the milk and biscuits. Here's the milk in the fridge. <sighs> Danielle is nice. She lets Totsy wear her funny slippers. <gasps> Up to bed, I think. Someone looks tired. Not yet. Sometimes Mummy lets us play on the computer before we go to bed, Danielle. Really? Well, I don't think I should put the computer on, but I have got my tablet in my bag. I'll have a look. Topsy, I want to go to bed soon. I want to go on the top bunk. I know, but I want to stay awake until Mummy and Dad get home. <sighs> OK. Does your tablet have games? It has games 
and stories. And sometimes I use it for my French homework. What's French? French is the language they speak in a country called France. French people say bonjour to say hello and bon oui to say good night. <laughs> Up to bed, sleepy heads. Come on. Bon oui. <laughs> bonjour. Bon oui. I don't think I can get up the stairs in the slippers. Oh, dear. We brush our teeth until Danielle says, stop. Stop. And have a nice rinse. There we go. Lots of water. Well done. There we go, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Went to my nose. Oh, dear. Oh. Your top's all wet, Tim. I think you need dry pyjamas, Tim. Mm. Come on, let's go find some. I think there is a wardrobe. Danielle can't find any of my dry pyjamas. So Tim has to wear a pyjama top of mine. OK. Who can get into bed the fastest? Me! Hey! Here we go. Come on, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a draw. <laughs> it's funny being up here. And down here. <laughs> Can we have a story, please, Danielle? Oh, I'd love to. I've got a great one on my tablet. Ready? Listen. <gasps> Once upon a time, there was a princess. She lived with her mummy, the queen, her daddy the king, and her many, many pets. <laughs> and the prince and the princess got married and, and lived happily ever after. <laughs> bon nuit, Topsy and Tim. Remember, that's good night in French. Bon nuit, Danielle. Bon nuit, Topsy. Can we have a night later on, please? Of course you can, Tim. Bon nuit. Topsy and Tim. Tim, are you still awake? Yes. Are you? Yes, I'm staying awake for Mummy. <laughs> Do you think Mummy and Daddy are nearly home now? Wake up, sleepy twins. In the morning... Wake up, Topsy. Mummy thought I was Topsy. I'm not Topsy. I'm Tim. Oh! Remember, we used to walk bunk beds. I'm on the top now. <laughs> Why are you wearing Topsy's pink pyjama top? Oh, Danielle couldn't find one of mine. My pyjama top got wet. Hello, Mummy. Hello. Did you enjoy swapping bunk beds? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Bonjour, Mummy. <laughs> Bonjour, Mummy. Bonjour. <coughs> you speak French now, do you? <laughs> Bonjour means hello, Danielle told us. Oh. Can Danielle babysit again for us, please, Mummy? And that's when Mummy said. Really nice. Yes. Danielle said she would be happy to babysit for you two anytime. Yes. Danielle said she would be happy to babysit for you two anytime, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> Time to get dressed, twins. And that, said Mummy, was that? This one. I like mm, this one. Maybe not that one, maybe this one. What do you yes, think? Yes, yes! This one. That one. Oh. Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, Topsy and I swapped bunk beds. But can you remember who slept on the top bunk? Was it Topsy? Or was it Tim? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, 
The answer is Tim. Watch this. Tim, are you still awake? Yes, are you? Yes, I'm staying awake for Mummy. Do you think Mummy and Daddy are nearly home now? Wake up, sleepy twins. In the morning... Wake up, Topsy. Mummy thought I was Topsy. I'm not Topsy. I'm Tim. Oh! Remember, we swap bunk beds. I'm on the top now. <laughs> Great game! That was good fun. See you soon. Let's go. <laughs> What's in our party bags now, please? Yes. Oh, oh, even there was a face painter at Vinda's party, and we had cake and party bags. Look, a whistle. Have <laughs> 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 you got uh, a pirate? Oh. <laughs> oh, <arr. laughs> I'm going to make you walk the plank. Oh, water. What's in your party bag, Topsy? We'll have a look in the minute, Tim. Where's Mummy Dominique? Well, she's gone to see oh. her friend, remember? Oh. Come on, I'll take your shoes off for you. <laughs> Mummy's gone to see her friend Julie, and she won't be back until late. Dominique is looking after us until Dad gets home from work. <laughs> <laughs> don't you want to play, Topsy? I don't feel like it, Dominique. Oh, that doesn't sound like you. Are you OK? I don't feel very well. Please, can you take my butterfly face paint off? It's itchy. Of course. Come with me. Really hot on me. Oh, well, it has been a busy day. Now just hold still while I take off this last little bit. Oh, oh don't scratch, sweetie. Uh, oh. Come out here. You've got two red spots on your forehead. Oh, come on here. Let me see your tummy. You've got one, two, three spots on your tummy as well. I think you've got chicken pox, Topsy. Chicken pox? Yes, lots of children at nursery have had them recently. Andy Anderson and little Stevie Dunton had them as well. I don't want chicken pox. I want my mummy. Oh, I know. I tell you what, I'm going to call the doctor and then we'll phone your mummy. How about that? Come on. Thank you, doctor. Yes, I understand. OK, bye-bye. Oh, poor Topsy. Dr Price said your spots are chicken pox. Please, can we speak to Mummy on the phone, Dominique? Yes, we'll call her now. Dominique phones Mummy's phone. But Mummy doesn't answer the call. Now, now, Kerry, Tim, please will you quiet them down for me? Why? Because Topsy's not very well. She's got chicken pox. How do you know Topsy has chicken pox? Because she has spots. Look. Can I see your spots, Topsy? I've got two on my forehead and three on my tummy. What does it feel like, Topsy? It's all itchy. I want mummy. Poor Topsy. That's it. Time to get into bed now. There we are. <laughs> Snuggle down, sweetie. When I'm in bed, Dominique wipes off Tim and Kerry's face paint in the bathroom. 
Topsy's the only one with chicken pox spots. I brought Dr. Sausage Dog for you. Hello, Topsy. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Can I see your spots again? Oh, you've got some spots in your cheek now. One, two, three spots. I've spoken to your dad on the telephone, Topsy, and he's going to come home as soon as he can. Now, he asked me to give you some of this medicine. Just one spoonful. Have you tried calling Mummy's telephone again? Yes, but it's still switched off. Sorry, mm -hmm. Topsy. I did leave her a message, though. Mm -hmm. That's OK. I've got this on my bunny's cuddle. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. Now, will you try and get some rest for me? OK. <laughs> Thanks, Dominique. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. <laughs> get well soon, Topsy. Later, Kerry and I make Topsy get well soon card. Mike. Look, I've drawn a picture of Topsy Tim. <laughs> that doesn't look like Topsy yet. Can I do something, please, Kerry? I've drawn some red spots on Topsy. <laughs> now that looks like Topsy now. Hello? Where are you all? <laughs> Topsy! Are you feeling any better? A little bit better. Come and sit over here, Topsy. <laughs> Look, Topsy, we made a card for you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it's spotty, <laughs> like me. <laughs> Mummy! Oh, it's you, Dad. Hello. Oh, hello, my little Topsy twin. I hear you've got the chicken pops. Not the chicken pops, Dad. <laughs> the chicken pops. <laughs> How are you feeling? A bit, a bit better than <laughs> now that you're here. Oh, good. Now, how about I take over from Dominique? I'll look after you instead. <laughs> Thank you so much for staying with them. Oh, poorly Topsy. You're welcome. After Dominique and Carrie go, we all snuggle up under a blanket on the sofa. Dad lets us watch a film right to the end. The end. Right. Time for bed. You both need a good night's sleep. <sighs> I think you've got this on Moon Bunny. Oh, where's Moon Bunny? Where's Moon Bunny? Did I get her? Can't we stay up until Mummy gets back? No, I'm sorry, Topsy. It's important you get your sleep. But Mummy will come straight <laughs> up and give you a kiss when she gets back, I promise. OK? I'm back! <gasps> Mummy! How's my top-tastic Topsy? I've got chicken pox. Oh, so I hear. I rushed back as soon as I switched my phone on and got my message. I missed you. Oh, darling. Go say hello. And how is my twin tabulous Tim? <laughs> Have you been looking after Topsy for me? Yes. Kerry and I made Topsy get well soon card. And that's when Mummy said, Tim, you so hot. I think you've got chicken pox too. You feel a little bit hot, Tim. I think you might have chicken pox too. Do I have spots? Let me see. You've got two red spots on your forehead, Tim. Oh, you both... Just like me. You've both got chicken pox. <laughs> they probably look like that. Chicken pox. Chicken pox. <laughs> <laughs> no more play dates or parties until you're both better. Oh. That's right, Topsy and Tim. But right now, it's time that we got you two into bed. Come on. And that's it, Mummy. What was that? <laughs> Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Topsy had chicken pox. But can you remember who else got chicken pox? Was it Dad? Or was it Tim?
The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is me, Tim. Watch this. You feel a little bit hot, Tim. I think you might have chicken pox too. Do I have spots? Let me see. You've got two red spots on your forehead, Tim. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Here you go, Mummy. Oh, thank you. It's not much space for them. No, it's full now, isn't it? Mummy and I are packing all of our books into boxes, ready to move them to our new house. Can I hold them down? Yes, please. Can you hold the tape for me? That's going to be Tony Welch and his mum. It's Elaine and Tony Welch. Oh, hi, Tony. Hi, Elaine. Come on Hello. in. Tony Welch and his mum are here with Tony's new baby brother to measure our bunk beds. They're having our bunk beds when we move. Isn't he adorable? Hi, Tony. Shh. Hi, Topsy. Why are you whispering? Baby Jack is sleeping. Where's Tim? In the kitchen with DIY Derek. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tony. Can you put that down for us? Lovely. Hi, Tony. There. Thank you. And those. May I play with Baby Jack, Elaine? Yes, of course, Topsy. When he wakes up. <laughs> when is he going to wake up, Elaine? <laughs> Not yet. Baby Jack needs his sleep. Sorry. Sorry. We need to be quiet. Baby Jack is asleep. Oh, OK. I've done the washing machine. What's next, Joy? Oh, great. Um, do you have a tape measure, please, Derek? Elaine, Tony's mum, is here to measure Topsy and Tim's bunk bed. I certainly do. <laughs> now, do you want me to measure it for Tony's mum, or do you two want to measure it with me using my tape measure? Yeah. And get to work quietly. Come on. Topsy, look. Come on. Come in. What are we doing? We're measuring our bunk beds for Tony Welch. Sleep on the top like you, Tim, and these bunks in my bedroom. Good. Oh, now let's measure them for your mum to check that they'll fit in your bedroom. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's have the tape measure. Right, now then. Tony Welch, I want you to hold that there at the end of the bed. Mm. Okay, Derek. Topsy, can you take the rest of the tape measure right to the other end of the bed? Is it okay if Little Moon Bunny helps? I think that's a very good idea. Right to the end. Can you reach? Just. That's good. Well done. OK, that's that's nice and straight. OK, now let me take that. Let me see how long the beds are. Oh! <laughs> it slipped out of my fingers. Sorry, Derek. That's all right. Never mind. We'll try again, shall we? Yeah. Everyone? OK, yeah. let's try again. Right. Hold it nice and tight there, Tony Welch. Topsy, same again. I might not do it with Little Moon Bunny this time. Without Little Moon Bunny this time's a good idea. Okay. Right. Well done. OK, I've got it. Both of you move away so I can see. And let's see what the measurement for this one is. 94... To... <laughs> oh, it slipped out of my fingers again. Sorry, Derek. Never mind. You two are not very good using the tape measure, are you? <laughs> I know. Tony Welch, can you look after my tape measure for me, please? I've got an idea. We're going to use this to measure instead. Dr Sausage Dog? Yes. How many Dr Sausage Dogs can we measure along the bunk? I don't know. Well, I'll show you, shall I? OK. Now, Topsy, you hold Dr Sausage Dog's nose it, at there. It's quite high. It is quite high, but you can reach. That's good. Now, you put your hand right on the end, like that, there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go nose to tail. 
nose to tail, <laughs> all the way along the bed. OK? Is that good? OK, so nose, nose to, to tail. tail. Topsy, you do two. that. That's two. And nose, nose to, to tail. tail. Three. That's three. We'll Together, we move Dr Sausage Dog along the bunk bed four times. Just about four Dr Sausage Dogs. There we are. Our bunk beds, four Dr Sausage Dogs. Yeah, right. Better write that down. Four... Dr Sausage Dogs. There's some tea down in the kitchen for you, Derek, Thank and you. some juice for your helpers. Yay! Coming, Mummy! I'm bringing Little Moon Bunny to show Baby Jack. Good idea. Did you know the bunk beds are four Dr Sausage Dogs long, Mrs O'Dell? Really? <laughs> that is good work. Isn't it? <laughs> now then, shall we measure how high they are? Yeah! Come down here, then, and let's measure how high they are. I want... We finished measuring our bunk beds and had our drinks. But Baby Jack is still asleep. <laughs> when will Baby Jack wake up, Elaine? Oh, I'm sure it won't be long now, Topsy. Right. Thanks for the tea, Joy, and I hope the move goes well. Oh, thanks for your help, Derek. Uh... And thanks for your clever way of measuring the bunk beds. I've got all my Dr Sausage Dog measurements, thank you. Ah, well, no, don't thank me. Thank my helpers, Tomsy, Tip and Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> We're not Tomsy, Tip and Tiny. We're Topsy and Tim and Tony. Oh, yeah. Well, I've got to go. Bye, all. Bye, Derek. Bye. The tape measure! Damn it! Phew. He slept through all the noise. No need to look so worried, helper. And thank you for that. Bye, all. Coming, Derek. See you soon. Bye. 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 Oh, Baby Jack's never going to wake up and play with me. <laughs> Hello? Oh, sorry. I can't talk now. Baby Jack's waking up. I'll speak to you later. Yes, Baby Jack's awake. Do you like Little Moon Bunny? Oh. Hello, Baby Jack. Oh, he's gorgeous. How are you? <laughs> he's not answering. Oh, not yet. <laughs> Baby Jack had to milk, a burp and a nappy change and then he was ready to play with us. Hello, I'm Middy Teddy. Hi, Mommy. And I'm Little Moon Bunny. Mm. Hello, Baby Jack. Nice to meet you. <laughs> What about Dr Sausage Dog? He's reaching for Dr Sausage Dog. Oh. Look, Mum! Oh, look at that big baby Jack smile. He's never smiled like that before. Oh. You're right. It's his first big smile. <laughs> He's so cute. Yeah. And that's what Mummy said. Next time we play with baby Jack, we'll be in our new house. Next time we play with baby Jack, We'll be in our new house, Topsy and Tim. He won't even remember that we ever lived in this house. Isn't that strange? I'll never forget this house, Baby Jack. <laughs> We've lived in this house since we were babies. Like you, we love our house. And you'll love our new house just as much. <laughs> <laughs> and that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we measured our bunk beds with DIY Derek. Can you remember which toy we used to measure our bunk beds? Was it Eddie Teddy? Or was it Dr. Sausage Dog? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is Dr Sausage Dog. Watch this. I know. Tony Welch, can you look after my tape measure for me, please? I've got an idea. We're going to use this to measure instead. 
Dr Sausage Dog? Yes. How many Dr Sausage Dogs can we measure along the bunk? Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Tim, I want to be as tall as the kangaroo. We've got an animal height chart in our kitchen. Right, Topsy and Tim, who's first? Me, 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 me! Mummy measures us to see how much we've grown. I'm always taller than Topsy. You're a cheater now, Topsy. Yay! <laughs> I'm a cheater, I'm as tall as you are. Your turn, come on in, let's Thanks get you in. That's right. Oh, you've grown too, Tim. Yay! But you're not yet a pony. You're still a cheater. Aww. There. I'm as tall as you are, I'm as tall as you are. It doesn't matter. I'm going to be a pony before you are. But you're still a cheater, you're both cheaters together. Yeah, we're cheater twins. Rah! 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 I've got a job for two cheaters. Look. Are those sunflower seeds, Mummy? Yes, they are. Can mm. we plant them? Please double, double please, please double please. You can. And if you plant them somewhere sunny in our garden, they will grow into lovely tall sunflowers. There you go. And Tim? Thank you. And you can keep them safe in these pots. One, two. There you go. One, two. Perfect. <laughs> Let's go and plant them. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Come on, Tim. Don't forget your trowels. Oh, yeah. We won't that. Here they are. Let's dig holes here, Tim. OK. We love our garden, even though it is very, very small. And the lawn is not real grass. It's plastic grass. <laughs> Look! It's a worm! Can I have a turn, please, Tim? Yes, but let me first. Ooh, it's so slimy. Let me have a turn. OK. Ew. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think the worm might eat our sunflower seeds, Topsy? No. The worm doesn't eat a whole seed, could it? No, but... I'm going to keep it in my pot, just in case. Oh, no! I've lost one of my seeds! Oh, where's my seed? I don't know. Oh, no! It doesn't matter. I've still got both of my seeds. We can share them if you like. Thanks, Topsy. Now let's plant them. One. Two. Three. I'll go and get some water. OK. I'm going to keep a worm in my pot. We put our seeds into the soil and water them. Our sunflowers will grow really, really tall, just like us. There you go, it's all covered up. Topsy and Tim, time for lunch. OK. Come in, Mummy. After lunch, We'll check to see if our seeds are growing. OK. You can come to lunch too, little one. Oh, hand wash, please, Tim. Oh, OK. You too, Topsy, come on. Super wash, please. Coming. Mm. We love cheesy potatoes. It's our favourite lunch. Mummy? Mm. Do you think worms like cheesy baked potato? Or maybe carrot or broccoli? What have you got there, Tim? It's my worm. Oh, so I see. And this pot here is its house. 
Well, Tim, worms live in the garden, so come on, outside, please. But I'm trying to keep the sunflower seeds safe from the worm. It could eat them. Outside, please. Oh. Thank you. Off you go, Wrigley Worm. But Mummy says that worms don't eat sunflower seeds. Worms are good for the soil. Hmm. Our sunflowers aren't growing, Tim. Hmm. Mummy, when will our sunflowers grow? Well, it actually takes quite a long time. They'll just be getting tall as we move house. Yay! Yay. <laughs> we want a moving house party, don't we, Tim? Please, Mummy. OK, I think that's a great idea. <laughs> Let's have a bye-bye barbecue out here. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> And that was ages ago, wasn't it, Topsy? Yes, today is our Bye Bye Barbecue Party. Hello, here we go. Right, that was just for our boys. There you go. Nice. All our friends and neighbours are here. Because we're moving house in... Four days' time! You are as tall as a cheetah. Yeah! Mummy is measuring us all. Our friend Kerry is a cheetah. Oh, Tim, you've grown. You are now a pony. <laughs> yes, I'm a pony! <laughs> I'm doing Topsy. What? Yay! <laughs> Actually, Tim, I've already measured Topsy, and she's a pony too. Look. Oh, but. I'm a tall pony and Topsy. <laughs> it's enough silliness, Tim. You're both big and tall now. <laughs> hey, why didn't I show Kerry our sunflowers outside? They're taller than all of us. Are they? Show me. Come on. Come on, Come on Tim. Oh. <laughs> Ta-da! Our sunflowers. Look, Kerry. One, two, three sunflowers. They're so tall, Topsy. I remember the seed I lost. Look. Now I know where I dropped it. In a plant pot by the shed. Look, it grew into a big sunflower too. And that's when Dad said... Your sunflowers will be lovely for the new people who come to live in our house, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we can plant more sunflowers in our new garden. Hey, great idea, Topsy. Brian, Topsy and Tim, come over here, please. Come on, come on, come on Topsy. <laughs> Good girl. Right, we just wanted to say thank you to you, all of our friends, for coming to our Bye Bye Barbecue. <laughs> it's only four days now until we move to our new house. <laughs> <laughs> you will all come and see us in our new house, won't you? Please. Yes, <laughs> Good. Yay. Well, the barbecue's ready, so everybody tuck in. <laughs> and that's it, Mummy. What was that? that? Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we planted some seeds in our garden. Can you remember the name of the flowers that grew from our seeds? Were they sunflowers? Or were they daisies? The answer is behind the clouds. Look, the answer is sunflowers. Did you remember? Watch this. Oh. <laughs> Ta-da! Our sunflowers. Look, Kerry. One, two, three sunflowers. They're so tall, Topsy. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Today has been just knights and princesses party and we're going to dress up and be knights. Look at me, Tim. 
I'm a knight. Ah! <laughs> ah! 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 Do you know, <laughs> Louise, Ray and Andy Anderson yeah. are all going to be knights as well. I don't mind, I'm a red knight. Yeah. Yeah. I've got your green knight costume ready for you to try on. In a minute, Mummy. Hurry up, Tim. Oh. Hello. OK. Oh, I see. Come on, Tim. Please, can you try on your knight's costume now? No, I just want to finish my game. Nope, don't worry. Yep, we will take very good care of Tony. OK, bye. Oh, what wonderful news. What is it, Mummy? Tony Welch's mum is about to have her baby. She's on her way to hospital now. Wow! <laughs> so Tony is coming to our house. His dad's going to drop him off. Great! <laughs> will Tony come to Binder's party as well, Mummy? Yes, you've all been invited. So we can all go together. I wonder what Tony will be dressed up as. Probably a knight. I look out for Tony while Tim plays. I can see a car! It's Tony! He's here, Tim! And he's wearing... Oh, he's in his normal clothes. <laughs> hey, Tony, in you come. Good luck at the hospital. Hi, Tony. Hi, Topsy. Hi, Tim. Hello, Tony. Where's your costume? My mum didn't have time to make one, so I'm going to go like this. Good, I'm going like this too. But everyone will be dressed up, apart from you two. I don't mind. I don't mind either. It's up to you two boys, but we're leaving for the party soon. You could choose something from my dressing up things, Tony. No, thanks. My next party is going to be a, an animal party. What animal will you be? A horse! <laughs> I'll be a horse too. Like this one. I've got an idea for Binder's party. Come upstairs. OK, Tony. Tony. Fractic bottoms? What for? We're going to be a horse for Vinda's party. A knight's horse. How are we going to do that with these? Well, with my two legs wearing these and your two legs wearing those, makes one, two, three, four legs. The four legs of a horse. Oh, I see. Hmm. I'll be the horse's front legs. You can be the horse's back legs. This is going to be fun. Put them on, Tony. Tim, what are you doing? I wish you and Tony would dress up for Vinda's party. Please. Yes. Find a tail. Great. Now let's use one of Dad's long football socks as the tail. I'll hold the horse's tail at the back. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. <laughs> you tell the boys we're ready. Tim, Tony, it's time to go! We're coming! Let's practice 
just walk in. Ready? Ready. Left. Now right. Left. 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 Right. Wait there. We need to be very careful. We're still getting used to walking together. I'm sure. Are you okay back there, Tony? Yes, thank You're you. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't wear your Green Knights costume you made me. Well, that's okay. I think your horse costume is much better. I hope you want to be a knight another time. Yes, please. <laughs> now, I think I should take a photograph of you all. What do you think? Yes! Okay, come on round here. Grab my camera. Why don't you go round here so Mummy can see you? Perfect. You get yourselves into good positions. Come round here for me. Tony at the back. Lovely, are good we? Good horses. <laughs> are we ready? One, two, three, smile. Hey. Perfect. Now, Back. who's ready to go to a party? Me! Me, me, me I am. <laughs> no, I'm a red knight with my very own horse. <laughs> and together we've got the best costumes, haven't we, you two? Yes. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> oh, hold on just a minute. I've, I've just got a text message. It's from your dad, Tony. And that's when Mummy said... Tony's mum has just had a baby boy. Tony's mum has just had a baby boy. And his name's going to be Jack. Jack! 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 I like that name. Yay! I think <laughs> you will make a brilliant big brother, Tony. I win. Yay! I'm a big brother. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we tell everyone about baby Jack at Vinda's party? Yeah! Come on then, let's go! To us on the And that said, Mummy, was that? Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Tim and Tony dressed up as a horse. Can you remember what they used for the horse's head? Was it an old shoe? Or was it a welly boot? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a welly boot. Watch this. Let's practice walking. Ready? Ready. Left. Now right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right, left, 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 right. Hurry up, you two! Wow! Hey, hey! Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Two again, Timsy and Top. <laughs> We're not Timsy and Top. We're Topsy and Tim. Oh, yes, silly me! How could I forget Topsy and Tim? No, no, the other way round. Oh, the other way round. You mean Topsy and Tim? That way round. Do you mean <laughs> no. that's not what you meant, was it? No. Now I've been painting the ceiling. Can you see that? I've got it on me. Right Water right. was dripping through our bedroom ceiling from the roof. Dad fixed the roof. But DIY Derek is painting over where the leak was inside. Can we help Derek? 
Please. Please. Of course you can. It's my home time, so you two can help me a tidy up. Okay. Okay, one of you hold my roller while I wipe my hands. Me, me, me. There you are then, Tim. You hold that. <laughs> right. Thanks, Tim. Now, I'll show you where to put it so we don't get a mess everywhere, okay? Our there. bedroom doesn't look like our bedroom today. Now then, what do you think, Topsy? Our bedroom looks funny, Derek. Ah, yes, it's cos I've covered it all in dust sheets so I don't get paint everywhere, you see? You see? Right, Tim, can you help me put the lid on the paint here? Right, push it down as hard as you can. There you go. Oh, that's good. Well done. Thank you. Right. Tim, under here. Where? In my den. <laughs> Done, Derek. Oh, hi, Joy. No, I'm afraid I'm going to have to come back in the morning and give the ceiling another coat of paint. Oh, so the twins can't sleep in here tonight, then? No. I'm going to have to leave it like this till the paint dries. If we can't sleep in our bedroom tonight, where are we going to sleep, Topsy? I don't like them. Right, that's me. I'm done. Oh. See you tomorrow, Joy. Bye. Thanks, Bye. Derek. Mummy? Oh, hello. If we can't sleep in our bedroom tonight, where are we going to sleep? Well, we haven't got a spare room, so we're going to have to think about something else. But don't worry, I've got an idea. So have I. Oh. We <laughs> can sleep in Mummy and Dad's bed, Tim. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Hello, everyone. Bye, Hi, Dad. Dad. I saw Derek on his way out. Boing, boing. Did he tell you he hasn't finished painting the twins' bedroom? Yeah. Yeah, so we're sleeping in your bed tonight, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you're not. Come out of there, please. Oh. Come on, you two. Oh. You are far too big to squeeze in with us. <laughs> <laughs> you snore anyway. <gasps> like this. <laughs> you cheeky monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> but where are we going to sleep tonight, Dad? I know, I know! Living in the bar tonight, Mummy. <laughs> you comfy? No. No. <laughs> well, then you can't sleep in here tonight, can you? You need comfy beds for a good night's sleep. So tonight, we're having a special camping holiday. Where? Where? <gasps> You'll find out. But first, who's for an early bath? Me! Yay! Me! Come on, then. <laughs> 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 tells us that our special camping holiday will be downstairs. Tonight, Topsy and I will sleep on the living room floor and blow up camp beds. Oh. I think it's blown up enough now, Dad. Oh, thanks, Tim. Oh. Blowing up beds is hard work. I'm ready for bed myself. Dad! Mm. Dad! Oh. Wake up, Dad! Mm. We still have Topsy's bed to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Almost there. <sighs> this is taking ages. Your teeth, please. <laughs> <laughs> In the kitchen? Ah, 
You get to do things differently when you're on holiday. Go on, good boy. <laughs> Go on, get him. Go on, get him. Ah! 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 <laughs> and so we got ready to sleep in the living room. <laughs> Come on, twins, into bed. Our bedtime stories. Of course you will. I'll tell her when you're ready. 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 Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep well. We were being quiet and pretending to be asleep when we heard Mummy say, I want us to move to a bigger house. I want us to move to a bigger house, Bri. One with a proper spare bedroom. Not camp beds on the living room floor. I think you're right. It's time to move house. I like our house. I don't want to move house. <laughs> Topsy and Tim, don't worry about moving house now. It's time for stories. Yay! Would you like your night light? Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> no more talk of a house move tonight, OK? OK. OK. Look at you two all snugly in your cosy camp beds. <laughs> oh, it's just like your bedroom now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It has. <laughs> Which story would you like first? This one, please. This one? This one. And then this one. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Twintastic Tim and Twintabulous Topsy. And that, said Mummy, was that. Us today. This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play! <laughs> today we pretended to be duvet monsters. But can you remember who we chased? Was it Mummy? Or was it Dad? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is Dad. Watch this. And I've got your books, twins. Thank you. Rawr! 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 A duvet monster, no! <laughs> no, no! No, get back! Good fun. See you soon. Dad's asked us to post some leaflets for him today. Thank you. To people who might want to use one of his helpful driver's minibuses. We need to get them to the post box on time. You two are very good at stuffing envelopes. We are. I put the leaflet in the envelope, then I pass it to Tim, and then I seal it. And stick stamp on it. <laughs> I love doing envelopes for Dad. All done. And Dad will be very pleased if we can get all of these posted today. Yeah, yes. he will. <laughs> How will we get all of this post to the post box? Hmm. I know how. How? Oh, where is it? Trolley! Oh, good idea, Tim. 
Doorbell, I'll get it. Well, I'll open the door. Okay. It's Mr. Rosen! And two of his oh. friends. Hello, Topsy and Tim. Hello, Mr. Rosen! Oh, hello, Mr. Rosen. Hello, hello Mr. Rosen. Please come in. Mr. Rosen tells us that he and his friends were just driving past our house in the helpful driver's minibus when the minibus stopped working. The minibus doesn't work. Look. Oh. Where were you going in the minibus, Mr. Rosen? Well, uh... Mr. Rosen tells us that he and his friends were going on an outing to the theatre today when their bus broke down just outside our house. I'm sure the driver will fix it for you, Mr. I Rosen. hope so. Please, Ooh. please sit down, make yourselves comfortable. Oh, and who you. would like a cup of tea? Oh, yes. well, thank you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> oh, now, let me introduce all my friends to each other properly. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Nicholas and Miss Kidd, these are my good friends, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> Topsy and Tim. These are my great friends, Mr. Nicholas and Miss Kidd. Hello. Hello. Oh, very pleased to meet you, Topsy and Tim. We've heard such a lot about you two. Would you like to know a secret about Mr. Nicholas? Yes, please. Yes, please. He can do a very good owl impression. <clears throat> and, um, wow. Would you like to know a secret about my friend, Miss Kidd? Yes, please. Yes, please. She can play the ukulele. What's the <laughs> ukulele? This is a ukulele. Wow. This is a ukulele. It looks like a small guitar. You're right, Tim. Miss Kidd always brings her ukulele on our bus journeys. Can you play it for us, please, Miss Kidd? Yes, please. Of course I will. Um, let me see. Sister Topsy, Sister Topsy, Brother Tim, Brother Tim, The bus is broken outside, We're all here inside, We're Topsy and Tim. With Topsy and Tim. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wow, you were good. Thank you, Tim. There's tea and biscuits in the kitchen now. Yay! Come on, Mr. Rosen. Please, will you show me how to play, Miss Kid? Yes, I will. Are you hold that like that. Does anybody take sugar? Yes, please. <laughs> Three. Okay. <laughs> That's very unusual, Mr. Nicholas. While Tim plays the ukulele, I put sugar into Mr. Nicholas's tea. He drinks it with three sugars. One, two, three. Oh, thank you, Topsy. <laughs> Good gracious. What a lot of envelopes. Can we help? Yes, we can tidy up the envelopes. Oh, lovely. In time to Tim's music. Good idea. Tim. Thank you. Try pressing here with a finger on your other hand and strum again. That sounds even better. Yes, that's because you're playing a chord. A chord? What's a chord? That's what musicians call it when you put your fingers on here to make nice music. Mummy talks to playing a chord. Well done, Tim. And there are songs we can all sing if you keep strumming that chord. Get ready to sing, everybody in the kitchen. Okay. Okay. <laughs> there were ten in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. There were four in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. There were three in the bed and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out.
one fell out, there were two in the bed. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Kid, I think I've broken your ukulele. No, Tim, you haven't broken it. I just need to do this. Watch. <laughs> Miss Kid, retunes the ukulele, so it sounds great again. There we go. <laughs> now you can play it again for us all. OK. Get ready to sing, everyone. OK. Ready? ready? There were two in the bed and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. It's the last envelope. There was one in the bed and the little one said, Hooray! for teaching me how to play the ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much fun helping you, Tim. Thank oh, you. Hello. The minibus is fixed, everyone. Hooray! Look at the state of my hands. Yeah. Oh, you can wash them in the kitchen if you like, straight on for me. Thank you. We're going to the theatre. Yeah. Hooray! <laughs> Tip top, off we pop. <laughs> what did you say, Miss Kid? Oh, Miss Kid always says, tip top, off we pop whenever she's leaving somewhere. Please, can you say it again, Miss Kid? Tip top, off we pop. Oh, or how about tip topsy, off we popsy? <laughs> <laughs> or Tim topsy, off we posty. You've got all those envelopes to post, oh, remember? Yeah. Okay, the trolley. And that's when Mr. Rosen said. There's plenty of room for you and your trolley in the minibus. There's plenty of room for you and your trolley in the minibus, Topsy and Tim. We can give you a lift to the post box. Yay, yeah, thank, thank you. you! Oh, come on, everybody. What do we say? Tip top, off we pop. <laughs> that said everyone was that. Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we had a sing song, but can you remember what instrument Tim learned to play? Was it a ukulele or was it a recorder? The answer is behind the clouds. Look, the answer is a ukulele. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! We go to Tillywinks Nursery School three mornings every week with our friend Kerry. And today, we're all going to be given parts in the nursery school play. Come on, let's go. I want to know who I am in the three little pigs. Oh, of course, the play. How exciting. I want to be a little pig. Oink, oink. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oink, oink. <laughs> Do you want to be a pig as well, Kerry? Yeah. Mommy, can oink, you oink, oink. Let me help you with your helmet. Oink, oink, there oink, we oink, go. Oink. Oink, oink. Good oinking, oink, Tim. Oink. Now let me get your helmet oink, on. Oink, 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 here we oink, go, oink, Tim, oink, darling. Oink. Come here. Let me get your helmet on. Good boy. Oh, you're scratching your head a bit. Is it itchy? Yeah. Oink, oink. Did you um? Did you see the email from the nursery school last week? What? Um, yeah. Oh, nits, of course. Mm, well, it just might be. Nits. Tim, put your helmet down by the kettle for me. I need to get. Mummy tells us that our teacher, Miss Maple, sent an email saying some children at nursery have nits. Mummy checks Tim's hair. If you could not itch your head for me for just a minute, 
I know it's itchy, but just hold off. It's a little... Oh, Dominique, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, he's definitely got knits, Tim. Mm. Oh. Knits make your hair itchy. I know that. Can we go to nursery now, please? Oh, no, I'm sorry, Topsy. Until I've got rid of Tim's knits, you can't go to nursery. Oh. Topsy, has your head been itching at all? Yes, a little bit. And how about yours, Kerry? No. Mine is very itchy. That's it, Kerry. Keep your head nice and still. How did Tim get knits, Mummy? Well, knits can spread from head to head when children play together. What are knits? They're little eggs that get in your hair and when they hatch they can make your head very itchy. <laughs> All clear, Kerry. No knits for you? Yes! All right, Topsy, sit down for me. Let's have a check of your hair. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid you've got knits like Tim, Topsy. <laughs> I don't want any knits. Oh, don't worry, Topsy. I had knits when I was your age. Give them out, please, Mummy. We all did, darling. Don't worry. Really? Yeah, and it's how I know I can get rid of them. Now, don't worry, Topsy. Mummy will make everything better. Come sit down. That's right, me. Topsy and Tim. I need to comb your hair. This is a special knit comb to get rid of knits. Right. Okay. Time to go, Kerry. Come on. Why aren't Topsy and Tim coming to nursery today? Well, they need to stay here so I can get rid of their knits so they don't pass them on to other children. Oh! oh it's all right, come on, let's see them out. But we can't miss nursery today. What about the three little pigs? Oh, don't worry. I'll ask Miss Maypole about your parts in the play. I promise. Oh, thanks, Dominique. Look. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Dominique, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> not fair. So we don't go to nursery. We stay at home. And Mummy combs the knits out of my hair. It feels all slimy, Mummy. Why have you put hair conditioner in my hair? Because it makes it easier to comb the knits out. I've got sticky up ears like the three little pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, Topsy. <laughs> oh, she's still upstairs, Tim. Mummy, mm -hmm. when will Topsy come down? Well, I'll go up and get her once I've finished your hair. Hi, Topsy. What are you doing in there? We're all having carpet time, like we have at nursery school. Topsy. You really wanted to go to nursery school today, didn't you? Yes. Will we still get our parts in the play, even though we're not there? Miss Maypole will make sure you still get a part. You'll see. Now, come on. I want little moon bunny. OK, you get little moon bunny. There you go. Girl, and then let's go and get rid of those knits so we can get you back to nursery school tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> I'm nearly there, Topsy. It's taking ages. Well, your hair is longer than Tim's. <laughs> Watch me! <laughs> I've put on some special knit music. And dance for Topsy. <laughs> I do a knit dance. All clear, Topsy. I've got no knits. <laughs> I've no knit hair too. <laughs> We're the dancing on knits. <laughs> right, Topsy, you're all done. I'll have to check you again in a couple of days, both of you, just to check there are definitely no more knits, OK? OK, Mummy. OK. Thank you. <laughs> Good dancing. Right, Topsy, we need to get your hair washed and dried like Tim's and get you ready for nursery school, OK? Follow me. <laughs> Mummy washes my hair. And dries and brushes it. And then... Dom 
Monique came round on their way home from nursery school. Guess what? I'm going to be a little piggy in the play. <laughs> oink, oink, oink. I hope I'm a little piggy too. Oink, oink. Oh, you might be, Topsy. <laughs> Miss Maypole gave Kerry these to give to you both. Inside it tells you what part you've been given. What part have I got, Mummy? <laughs> Am I a little pig? Oh, no, you're a house. A house? A house? <laughs> yes, you're the house. house that the little pigs build. I know that, but it's just not a proper part. Miss Mabel says it's a really good part. You get to play all three houses, Tim. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Topsy, this says that you are the big bad wolf. Yes! Oh, I'm a house made of straw. <laughs> oh. Topsy and Tim. Oh. And that's when Kerry said, <laughs> Will you still, still come, come to nursery, nursery school, school when, when you move house? house? Will you still come to nursery school when you move house? We will, won't we, Mummy? We want to do all of the nursery plays with Kerry. Oh, of course you can. I don't know what we'd do without our special friend Kerry. <laughs> <laughs> Said Mummy, was that? <laughs> Hello, are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today we had itchy heads, but can you remember what Mummy used to comb the nits out of our hair? Was it a hairbrush? Or was it a nit comb? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a nit comb. Watch this. All clear, Kerry. No nits for you? Yes! Right, Topsy, sit down for me. Let's have a check of your hair. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid you've got nits like Tim, Topsy. I don't want any nits. Oh, don't worry, Topsy. I had nits when I was your age. Give them out, please, Mummy. We all did, darling. Don't worry. Really? Yeah, and it's how I know I can get rid of them. Now, don't worry, Topsy. Mummy will make everything better. Right, Topsy and Tim, I need to comb your hair. This is a special knit comb to get rid of knits. Right, okay. time to go, Kerry. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! and I are making cardboard cut-up twins. <laughs> We're using the cardboard box our neighbour, Mr Fishwick, gave us. Nearly done, Tim. There we are. I've drawn around your whole body. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mummy? Yes, Tim? Come and see. Look at my cardboard twin, Tim. Oh, that's great, Tim. I'll cut yours out just like Topsy's twin. My cardboard twin? Yes, here we go. Looks great. Topsy's twin looks great cut out. Hello, Tim. <laughs> Hello, twin Topsy. She doesn't really look like me yet. She needs a face. <laughs> I'm going to go and colour her face in. <laughs> Her eyes. Well, 
her other one goes here. I'm going to give Twin Tim a big smiley mouth. And I'm going to give her brown eyes. Actually, no, purple. It'll look funny. They're colouring in, twins. I'll get the door. Tony. Hello, Tony. May I have the red? What are you doing, Topsy and Tim? That's orange. We're colouring on our twins. Tony Belch and his mum have come round to pick up our old baby basket. Ready for Tony's new baby brother to sleep in when he's born. All right, your milk's on the side, children. Come on, Elaine, let's go off and get the baby basket. This is Twin Tim. Hello. <laughs> I'm Twin Tim. Hello, I'm Tony. Tony, do you want to colour this in with me? Yes, I'm really fast at colouring in. Me too. Careful! Sorry, Topsy. <laughs> Tim. Yay! I found you, Ooh. King Twin Tim. I think King Twin Tim wants some milk. Yay! Let's sit him in. Careful. Milk for King Twin Tim. Tony, your mum's going now. Come on. Enjoy your milk, Your Majesty. Stop, 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 stop. Bye, Tony. Much for the baby clothes and the baby basket, Joy. Oh, you're welcome. In fact, when we move, would you like Topsy and Tim's bunk beds? Really? Yeah. We'd love your bunk beds, wouldn't we, Tony? Yeah. No. You can't give our bunk beds away to Tony. Oh, Tim, you'll have separate bedrooms in the new house with a new bed each. But. You can't give them away. We'll talk about it another time. Yeah. Bye, Tim. Come on, Tony. You bye, go. Tim. Bye, Joy. Oh, bye, Tony. See you soon. Thanks for coming. Bye. Bye. There are bunk beds, Mum. You can't give them away. Sorry, Tim. Mummy? Topsy ruined King Twin Tim. I'm sure King Twin Tim will be fine once we dry him off. Come and help me, Tim. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Topsy ruined King Twin Tim. And Mummy's giving away our bunk beds. <sighs> Mummy, why are you giving away our bunk beds to Elaine? Well, they'll need more beds when the new baby comes. I've just never slept on the top bunk before. It's not fair. Tim! A 
bit later, I take him a biscuit to say sorry. Sorry about King Twinton. It's OK. Thanks for the biscuit. I like it down here on the bottom bunk. It's all cosy. I like it up here in the top bunk. It's so high. I know. Why don't we swap bunks? From yeah. tonight. Till we move the house. Until Tony Welch gets our bunk beds. <laughs> OK, King Twin Tim is nearly dry, Tim. There you go. Thank you. Mummy, <laughs> we've decided that we want to swap bunks. Oh. From tonight. Until Tony Welch gets our bunk beds. OK, well, I think that's a really good idea, but not tonight, OK? Oh. I tell you what, if you help me tidy the bedroom, you can do it from tomorrow night. Okay? Yay! <laughs> and that's when Mummy said, Soon people will be coming to look at our house. <laughs> Soon people will be coming to look at our house. Who? What people? People who want to buy our house. And they want to come and see if they want to live here. Thank you. They would like to live in this room. I think they'd really like this room, wouldn't they? This room is very big. <laughs> it's very big and lovely, but only when it's tidy. So help me clean it up. Look! <laughs> <laughs> and that, said Mummy, was, was that. that. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we made cardboard twins. But can you remember what we put on Twin Tim's head to make it King Twin Tim? Was it a sun hat? Or was it a crown? The answer is behind the cloud. The answer is a crown. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Coming to rescue you, Brenda. Perry's come round to show us her costume for Rinda's party tomorrow. It's a Knights and Princesses party. You're a really pretty <laughs> princess, Kerry. Thank you, Topsy. I'm going to be a red knight at Rinda's party. What are you going to be, Tim? I'm going to be a green knight. Do you want to see our costumes, Oh, Kerry? yes, please, Topsy and Tim. Okay. <laughs> um... Kerry, your mum's here. Oh, we were about to show Kerry our knight costumes. Tomorrow, Topsy, at Vinda's party. But right now, Kerry's mum needs her to go. I'm going shopping with my mummy to go and buy Vinda's birthday present. <laughs> we need to buy Vinda a birthday present too, mummy. I've already bought Vinda's present. You'll see. Come on, let's go down. Come on, Topsy. Come on, Tim. So we say goodbye to Kerry. Bye, Kerry. Bye, Joy. Bye, Kerry. Bye, Kerry. See you soon, Bye, Bye, Dominique. And Mummy tells us that Vinda's birthday Bye. present is being delivered to our house soon by the supermarket delivery van. I'll see it before you. No, I will. I'll see the van before you. What is Vinda's present, Mummy? What have we bought her? Just keep looking out of the window for me, please, Topsy and Tim. See if you can see that van. We wait for the supermarket van for ages. Eddie, Teddy and Little Moon Bunny help. Can we see anything, Little Moon Bunny? I think it will be Howard delivering all the shopping today. No, Stuart. Actually, Rosie. <laughs> Yes, Rosie. Mm. I think I heard the van. Really? There it is. <gasps> I can see it! Mummy! It's here! Good work, twins. Oh, hello, Rosie. Come here. It's Rosie. Hello, Rosie. I hope to meet you, Rosie. Oh, hi, Topsy. Yeah. Hi, Tim. <laughs> and hello, you two cuddly toys, too. Right, <laughs> should we get this shopping into the kitchen? Yeah. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, six bags. 
Wow. <laughs> Where's Vinda's present, Mummy? Oh, is it someone's birthday? Yes, it's our friend Vinda's birthday. We're going to her party tomorrow. Her present's in one of these bags. Lucky Vinda. Now, shall we write our names as usual? Yes! Mummy, can you sign your name here for the shopping? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And whose turn is it to Mommy, write their name next to Mummy's? It's mine this time. OK, Tim, you write your name nice and clearly for Rosie, please. OK. Mmm. <laughs> Lovely writing. Thank and you. it's your turn next time, Topsy. OK. All right, I've got to go. See you later. Bye. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Rosie. Bye, Rosie. Bye. Bye. <gasps> Is this her present, Mummy? <laughs> Stickers? A sticker book. Well found, Topsy. Oh, cool. It's got princesses and dragons. Mummy, did you get a card? That's what I found. <laughs> oh, and there's the <laughs> card. Did you buy wrapping paper to wrap up Vinda's present, Mummy? Yes. It's on those seats. Oh, the supermarket must have forgotten to send it. Oh, no. Um, we, we don't have any wrapping paper to wrap up Vinda's present with. Don't worry. I'll call Dad and ask him to get some on his way home. Yes! Oh, yes. Hi, Bri, it's me. Yeah, no, everything's fine. Um, please, could you pick up some wrapping paper for us on the way home? OK, no, no, no problem. Yeah, OK, we'll see you later. Bye. Yes! <laughs> what did he say, Mummy? What did he say? Oh, Daddy's a bit too busy at work, so he can't pick any up at the moment. We'll have to think of something else. Well, Linda's birthday party is tomorrow. Yeah. What are you going to do? I know! We can make our own wrapping paper! That is a fantastic idea, Topsy. Why don't you two put your aprons on and I'll get all this tidied up. Now you rip it, Tim. Yes. Vinda loves butterflies, so I'm going to paint butterflies on her wrapping paper. I'm going to paint multicoloured spots. Right. Painting the wrapping paper is easy, but waiting for it to dry takes ages. After a bath, I come down to see if it's ready. It's dry! I'll wrap the present! And I'll do the sticky tape! Oh, yes! Brilliant. Tim, you sit in there for me. Topsy, you come and sit in here. Brilliant. Oh, that's the present. Okay. Oh. Any closer? Yeah. Oh, perfect wrapping, twins. Great teamwork. One more piece. <laughs> One more piece. There you go. Yay! Yes! Perfect. Well now for the card. Here, in. Da. Happy birthday. Love. From. Go. To. Tim, but I found this in my van. Butterfly wrapping paper. Is it to wrap Vinda's birthday present? Yes! Oh, yes! Good. I thought it was yours. I'll see you next time. Wish Vinda a happy birthday from me. Aww. OK. Bye! <laughs> Bye! Bye. 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 Bye! Bye! Thank you! <laughs> so, shall we unwrap Vinda's present and wrap it in this paper, Tim? No, I've got an idea. Maybe we could wrap 
this wrapping paper over our wrapping paper. Like our sparsel. Yeah. Good idea, Tim. It's your turn to wrap this time. I like wrapping presents. I love opening presents. Well, it's your next birthday very soon, so you'll have lots of presents to open then, won't you? Yes! And that's when Mummy said, I can't, I can't believe, believe my little, little twins, twins are going to be five years old. I can't believe my little twins are going to be five years old on their next birthday, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> five? Wow! It's a big number! I think we should have a fabulous five birthday party at our new house. What do you think? Yes, yeah. please! <laughs> right. Let's get wrapping this present so that you two can get off to bed and be wide awake for Vinda's party tomorrow. And that, said Mummy, was that. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we wrapped Brinda's present. Was her present a teddy bear? Or was it a sticker book? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a sticker book. Watch this. Princesses and dragons. Mummy, did you get a card? That's what I found. Oh, there's a card. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Ah! <laughs> Hello, Topsy the Wolf. Hi, Grandma. Where's Mummy? Is she all right? It's fine. She's in the kitchen. Mummy! Hello. Ah! Oh! <laughs> there you are, my little wolf girl. Mummy, I'm the big bad wolf. <gasps> yes, of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> May I have a look at your bandage, please? Yes. Are you all right? Of course I am. Where's Tim? He's outside. He's coming in in his house costume. Should we go and find him together? Yeah. Come on. Here you come. That's it. Find the step. Come on, Tim. Oh, <laughs> God, you look great. <laughs> mummy, mummy, mummy! Well, how's your wrist? Please, may I hug you? Oh, of course you can. My wrist is fine. I want to hug with both of you, please. Mm. Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry I missed your nursery school play, Topsy and Tim. It's OK. It's OK. Have you been to hospital? Yes. I went to see the doctor and he said my wrist is fine, it's just a sprain. <laughs> That'll teach me to go running and then I fall flat on my face. <laughs> Have a seat, George. Thank, Thank you. you. Over here. There we go. Let Mummy sit down there. That's it. Now, tell us all about your performance of the Three Little Pigs. It was great. We bowed like this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I wonder who that could be. I don't know. I'll go and get it. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hello, come in. Hi, Hello, Ray. Hello, Ray. Hey, have a seat, Farrah. How's your arm, Joy? Oh, it's absolutely fine, thank you, Farrah. <laughs> Nothing serious. I'm just so sad I missed their play. Surprise! We're going to do our play, The Three Little Pigs, again, now. Just for you, Mummy, right here. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> OK, we're going to need a stage. Oh, Let's yeah. move the sofa. George, wait. Oh, right. Everybody help. Oh, yeah. Everybody help. Oh, yeah. Careful with Mummy. Thank you. Yeah. We get ready to do the play for Mummy, exactly like we did at nursery school, with Ray as our narrator. Until I remember something important. Oh no, we can't do the, the play, Three Little Pigs, because we haven't got anyone to be the pigs. <gasps> we do. Yes, I'm going to be a pig. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be good at the pig, Daddy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you need a nose. Ooh. And please snort loudly. <laughs> <laughs> Get 
My nose on. You ready? <laughs> and this will be another pig. Here to play the second little pig. <laughs> I've got somebody very, very special. And she brings the third little pig with her. Ta da! So the first little pig and the second little pig went to find the third little pig who had built himself a house of bricks. Knock, knock, knock. Who is it? It's us. Can we come in? Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> All three little pigs were safely inside the house of bricks. So one of them finally looked out the window. <gasps> Hello, who's this coming up the garden path? It was the big bad wolf. <laughs> I'm the big bad wolf and I'm still hungry. <laughs> little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Look by, by the hair on our chinny chin chin. chin, chin. Then I'll half and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <laughs> but no matter how hard she blew, the big bad wolf could not blow down the house of bricks. So... Look out, wolf. You're not having us for your tea. Here comes a wolf-chasing ball. Three little pigs oh. threw the wolf-chasing ball the big bad wolf. <laughs> their mummy and dad and their daddies after the play. Would you like a picture of you and Tim with mummy and me? Yes, please. OK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's lovely. Can you get a little bit more? Thank you. Ready, everybody? Three, two, one. Piggy! Piggy. We all loved having our photographs taken. And then mummy told us some big news. Now, I had an exciting phone call today while you were doing your nursery school play. Do you remember Sam and Trish who came to see our house last week? Yes. yes. Well, they've decided they want to buy our house. And that's when Dad said, we've sold our house. We've sold our house, Topsy and Tim. We've sold our house, everybody. Yes, darling. Does that mean we're definitely moving house? Yes, it does, Tim. Is that okay? Yes, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, hooray right, yeah. for Tim! Well and that's it, Mummy. Was that? Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember? 
remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we performed our play for Mummy. But can you remember what part Dad played? Was it the big bad wolf? Or was it a little pig? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a little pig. Watch this. Oh no, we can't do the, the play, Three Little Pigs, because we haven't got anyone to be the pig. <gasps> we do? Yes. I'm going to be a pig. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be good at the pig, Daddy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you need your nose. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. And please snort loudly. <laughs> <laughs> My nose on. You ready? <laughs> Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Hello, 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 hello. Come in, Topsy and Tim, let Mr Rosen in. Mr Rosen comes every week to get a lift to the shops in a helpful driver's minibus. Please move, play with your wheelie bag, Mr Rosen. There you go, then. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that way, that way. Helpful Drivers has six minibuses and it's run by our dad. Beep, <laughs> <laughs> beep. <Be. laughs> When he comes, Mr Rosen always brings his wheelie bag to carry his shopping in. We love playing with it. Topsy, Topsy, could you could you park it for me just here, please? I, I mustn't forget to take it with me when the minibus arrives. <laughs> Thank you. Beep! Reversing, reversing, reversing. <laughs> the driver's on its way for you. Would it be easier, Mr Rosen, if the driver picked you up from the home in future? No, no, I like to walk down the road. And it's always good to see you, Topsy. <laughs> and Tim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I must have to take it with Hello? Okay. Yes, could you hold on one minute for me, please? Who it's, is that? It? It's the estate agent, darling. I'm sorry, I've got to take this. Okay. So, I saw the for sale sign up in your garden. Uh, your mum and dad are thinking of moving you all to a new house, are they? Yes. Oh, thank you. Look! Oh! They say we're going to move to this one. West U Avenue, I know it. Looks nice. Do you like your new house? Yes! Uh, what do you like about it? It's got that red door there. And what about you, Tim? What do you like about the new house? It's got a big garden. We're going to get twin swings. Well, it sounds like the perfect house for you all, then. And look, this is the inside of it. Yes. It's a bird's eye view. That's what Mummy told us. I used to make houses, you know. Why? I was an architect. Architects design and build houses. I made big houses and small houses and houses with red doors <laughs> and with blue doors, all different kinds. What do you have to do to make a house? Well, first you make a model to help you. Can I use that big old cardboard box to show you? Yes! Right. Just a minute. Let's see. Now, shall we turn this into a house? Yes, yes, please! Right. Now, first I make a chair up here. Mr Rosen starts making us a house. And when we make that... He's yeah. really clever. I didn't need to. And we can know? go in. And how... Yes, you can go in. Mr Rosen has made us a house with four rooms, out of the big box. We put all the things in it that you need in the house. And uh, what are you making, Tim? A sofa. For our toys to sit on. Wonderful. Your minibus is here, Mr Rosen. Oh, right then. Thank you. OK. Bye, Tim. I'm off into town. Bye! <laughs> I can't wait to see the house all finished when I get back. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Mr Rosen. Bye. Wow, 
You architects must be getting thirsty. Would you like some juice? Yes, please. Topsy, I'm pouring juice. Come on. Why? Someone will call Mr Rosen's driver, who will drive back and pick up the wheelie bag. OK. There we go. Right. Can you push that button for me and stand next to Tim so he can hear as well? And remember, speak very clearly. OK. Here, Mama. Hello, it's Topsy and Tim. Hello, Topsy and Tim. Mr Rosen has left his wheelie back at our house. He's in one of your minibuses. Ah, oh, OK. I'll just phone the driver. Hold the line. Hello, Neil here. Is that Topsy and Tim? Yes. What's all this about a wheelie bag, then? Mr Rosen's forgotten his wheelie bag at our house. Oh, dear. Uh, I'll let Mr Rosen know right away. Please, may you come back and get it for him? Will do. We're on our way. Come on, step, Topsy. Good girl. Come on, Tim. The minibus will be here soon. I'm coming, Topsy. Do you wait at the bottom of the path? You'll see it come round the corner. As we are waiting, our next-door neighbour, Mr Fishwick, walks past. Hello, Topsy and Tim. Hello, Hello Mr, Mr Fishwick. <laughs> what are you doing? We're helping our friend, Mr Rosen. Ah. <laughs> Look, Tossy, there he is. <laughs> Thank you, Topsy and Tim. Now I'll be able to carry all my shopping. <laughs> How silly of me to leave my wheelie bag behind. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. <laughs> Great job on your little house, Topsy and Tim. Oh, and I know someone who'll like to see it. Wanna come see us at the door? <laughs> Mr. Rosen! Oh, Mr. Hello. Rosen! Oh, just look at all this shopping. Oh, good job I had my wheelie bag to carry it. Oh, 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 oh. oh thank you. And I've managed to put something else into it. Ta -da! Paint the walls of your wonderful house. And don't forget the red front door, Topsy. Oh, how kind. It's right there. What do you say, Topsy and Tim? Thank, Thank you, Mr. Rosen. Mr. Rosen. And that's when Mr. Rosen said, I will, I will miss you when you move house. I will miss you when you move house, Topsy and Tim. We'll miss you as well, Mr. Rosen. We like it when you come to our house. <laughs> Helpful drivers will still be taking you to the shops once a week, Mr Rosen. And you can ask the driver to take you to our new house any time you like. Well, that's good then. It'll be exciting to see your new home when you move. You can come round lots. <laughs> oh, thank you. All the you. time. Thank <laughs> you. Now, get to painting. All right, aprons on first, twins. Oh. Good, Tim. <laughs> and that's it, Mummy. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, Mr Rosen came to visit us, 
But can you remember what he left behind when he went shopping? Was it his coat? Or was it his wheelie bag? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is his wheelie bag. Watch this. Topsy! Mr Rosen's wheelie bag! Left it behind! <gasps> Mr Rosen needs his wheelie bag to carry all his shopping inside! Oh no! He's gone! Oh. We've got to get it to him! Mummy! Mr Rosen's forgotten his wheelie bag! Oh dear! Don't worry, you can call Dad's office. Come on. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon. Do you think we've missed him? I don't think so. Our postman is called Jamie. Whenever we see him in our street, we always window wave at him and he always window waves back. Lunch is ready, Topsy and Tim. Wash your hands. Superwash, please. We're coming in a minute. Now, please, twins. But, Mummy. Oh, we still have a window wave, Jamie. He's here. Look, it's Jamie. And look, he's in his van. Hello, Jamie. Wait, Topsy, wave. <laughs> be for Mr and Mrs Fishwick. I wanted that big box to be for us. Me too. Oh, never mind, Topsy and Tim. Let's go through to the kitchen and have our lunch. Come on. The juice, good girl. Help yourself to carrots too, remember? I wish that big box was ours. Go, you two stay and eat. Oh, hi. How are you? Hi, mate. Could I leave this box for Mr. and Mrs. Fishwick with you? There's no one holding it. Yes, of course. Topsy. Let me talk him to Jamie the postman. Come on, quick. It's the big box. Thanks for taking this in for Mr. and Mrs. Fishwick, Joy. I knew I could count on you, Topsy and Tim. Yes, we'll help. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Hi. We'll look after the box. Can you sign for it, please? Yeah, of course. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. Thanks very much. Bye. Bye. Henry. <laughs> Mrs Fishwick knows that their big box is here, Mummy. Well, the postman's put a note through their door and that'll let them know. Come on, back to the table, finish your lunch. I don't want to have any lunch. I'm going to guard the box. Come on, Tim. Coming. I can have a roll and some ham, please. Yes. After lunch, we play with the box. It's a chattering teeth box. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and then we wait for Mr Fishwick to get home. Yes! Yes! yes. yes. Hello, Cat! Yes! 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 Yes!
Stop saying Tim! Mr Fishwick! <laughs> I don't suppose you've seen a, a great big box, have you? <laughs> it's here, Mr Fishwick. Oh, there it is. We've been looking after it really, really well. Thank you. I can always rely on Topsy and Tim to be good, helpful little neighbours. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> now, do you want to know what's inside the box? I'll give you a clue. A rabbit? <laughs> Not quite, no. But it is for my rabbits. Uh, a rabbit racing car? A rabbit space rocket? Not quite. I'll tell you what, if you help me open the box, then we can all see what's inside. <laughs> so just mind yourself. Let's get it tipped over this way. That's all right. Oh, OK. Oh, oh, there we are. Yeah. There we are. Look at that! Good right to the edge. Oh, there. Now then. Another box? A box in a box? Well, it's a special sort of box. Now, let me get here and Mummy can help me get it out. Okay, well, uh, and over like that. Oh. It's a rabbit hutch! Uh, uh, yeah. You see, uh, one of my rabbits, Hoppity, is going to have babies soon, so she needs a bigger hutch. Wow. How many baby rabbits will Hoppity have? Well, I don't know, Topsy. We'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> right, now I need to get this hutch home, so thank you all again. Could you give me a hand, Joy? Okay, up we Mr. go. Mind your head there, Tim. I've just got to step over. Oh, okay, thank you, you too. Right. Perfect. Let's flip the box that way. There okay. we are. Okay, let me get the door. Mr. Fishwick? Yes. If you don't need this empty box, please may we keep it? We really like it. Of course you can. I mean, you've been so helpful. I mean, that's OK. Of course you can. Yay! Yeah. Oh. Thanks, Mummy. Thanks, Mr. Fishwick. Boing, 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 boing. We pretended we were rabbits and our big cardboard box was our hutch. Boing, boing. Then the doorbell went again. Tim. Hello, Mr. Fishwick. Hello, Mr. Fishwick. Hello, Mr. Fishwick. Hello again, Topsy and Tim. Hello, Mrs. Fishwick. Hello. Hi. Hello. Look, we've brought someone to say another big thank you. Wow. Is this Hoppity? No, she's at home resting. This is Reggie, Hoppity's friend. Say hello. Hello, Reggie. Do you want to come play in our box? <laughs> it's not a box anymore, Tim, is it? It's a rabbit heart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> come on. All right. Off we go. <laughs> See if Reggie likes it. <laughs> Careful now, gently. Oh, here we go. OK. Here we go. Oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so soft. I wish we had a pet rabbit, Mummy. Me too. He's very soft, isn't he? Yeah. And that's when Mummy said, When we move house, there'll be enough room for a rabbit hutch in our garden. When we move house, there'll be enough room for a rabbit hutch in our garden, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We'd love a baby rabbit, Mummy. Please! Can we, can we have one? <laughs> well, I shall be looking for good homes for Hoppity's babies soon. Double, please! <laughs> <laughs> OK, that's settled then. You can have a pet rabbit when we move house. Oh. Yay! <laughs> and that's the mummy. Was that? <laughs> to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we looked after a big box for Mr Fishwick. Can you remember what was inside the big box? Was it 100 footballs? Or was it a rabbit hutch? The answer is behind the clouds. Look, the answer is a rabbit touch. Watch this. 
Well done! Good right to the edge. Oh, there. Now then. Another box? Yeah. <laughs> a box in a box? Well, it's a special sort of box. Now, let me get here and Mummy can help me get it out. Come for me, Topsy. Where is he? Okay. Oh. There. What is it? It's a rabbit hut! <laughs> Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Topsy, Tim, can you come up and help please? Okay, Dad! Dad wants us to help him with our bunk beds. Tony Welch and his mum and dad will be here soon to collect them. Yeah. Wow, our bedroom looks really strange. It doesn't look like our bedroom anymore. Well, by tonight, you'll have a new bedroom. One each. Yes! <laughs> I love our bunk beds. Tony Welch will love them too. <laughs> Dad? Mm hmm Please may I keep this sticker from the bunk bed? Yeah, that's a good idea, Tim. Topsy, why don't you choose a sticker to keep too? Excuse me, please, Dad. Okay. I'll have this butterfly sticker. Okay. I'll look after them for you. Thanks, Dad. Okay. Right, better get these downstairs. And remember, you can stick your stickers on your new beds in your new bedroom tonight. I can't wait! <laughs> Tony Welch! Oh, go on down, you two. But it isn't Tony Welch at the door. It's the removal people. Wow, that's huge! It's all black. Today, all of our furniture is going to be put into this removal van. Better ask Sid, let's go. And then Sid and Lorna will drive it all to our new house. Can we come up, please, Sid? Yes, you can, come on. There we go. All tight. Up we go. <laughs> on the back. Hmm. Will all of our furniture fit in here, Sid? Uh, yes, Tim, it will. Hmm. We'll start by getting our toys for you. Thank you, Topsy and Tim. Come on. Oh, yeah! Come on, Tim! Here we go. Find your I bring all of my favourite toys downstairs and put them in the trolley, ready to go to the removal van. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, everyone. Hi, Gary. Oh, hi, Tim. Hi, make way for the bunk bed, please. Hello. We brought you a present. Oh. The blueberry muffins. <gasps> oh. Thank you, Carrie. Can I have one, please? Of course you can, once we finish packing. Thank you. <laughs> we should make some more so I can have one, Mummy. Mm, we <laughs> should. Well, we better get going because we're going to wave you off later. I'll wave goodbye to See you. Later. I'll wave goodbye later, Tim. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Bye. Have you got all your toys, Tim? Um, yes, Dad. I've got all of mine, and Topsy's just upstairs getting little moon bunny. Topsy, are you ready? Look at it, Teddy. Nearly everything's gone. The house is nearly empty. Our toys are ready to be driven to our new house now. Careful of little moon bunny. He's right on the bottom. Now he's on the top. <laughs> With Eddie Caddy and Dr. Sausage. Yeah. Come on, Tim. Thank you, Topsy and Tim. Can I just say, you two have been the biggest help today. Moving house makes me feel happy and sad. At the same time, Dad. And me. Me too. Tea break, everyone. <gasps> Good. 
Dad has a cup of tea on the front lawn. Then pretends to fall asleep in the armchair. <laughs> Wake up, Dad! <laughs> Dad! Were you asleep? No, I was resting my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I'll just get the screws for the bunk bed. It's heavy. I come to collect your bunk beds. <laughs> Are you going to sleep on the top or the bottom bunk, Tony? I think I might sleep on the top bunk. Good choice. Help me lift this, Tony. Oh, and what do you say? <laughs> Thank you for the bunk bed stop soon, Tim. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's very kind of you both. Stop Topsy and Tim. Come inside, please. <laughs> we need to say bye bye to our house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We went back inside one more time and we said goodbye to every room. Now we just need to say goodbye out here. Bye house. Bye garden. Bye front door. We will miss you. We've had some great times in this little house, haven't we? Yeah. But we're going to have even more <laughs> wonderful adventures in our new house. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Everyone ready to go? Yes. 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 Come on. Bye, house. Bye. 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 Wait, wait, you've forgotten something. Hello, Mr Fishwick. Hello and bye-bye, Mr Fishwick. I couldn't let my friends Topsy and Tim leave without a little present. I hope that's OK, Brian and Joy. A rabbit! A rabbit! <laughs> well, you'll need another one to keep him company, though. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Mr, Mr. Fishwick. Fishwick. Thank you. My pleasure. Can we keep him, Dad? Please, Mummy. Please, double please. And that's when Dad said, Yes, you can keep the rabbit. Yes, you can keep the rabbit, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> Mr Fishwick told us all about it. So the rabbit's food and hutch are already at our new house. <laughs> He's wiggling his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr Fishwick. Mind your fingers. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Come and visit us in our new house soon. We will. Here we go. And that said, everyone, was that? Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we were moving house. Can you remember what Mr. Fishwick gave us as a moving house present? Was it a rabbit or was it a guinea pig? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a rabbit. Watch this. Wait, wait, you've forgotten something. Hello, Mr. Fishwick. Hello and bye bye, Mr. Fishwick. I couldn't let my friends Topsy and Tim leave without a little present. I hope that's OK, Brian. Yes. A rabbit! A rabbit! <laughs> well, you'll 
You'll need another one to keep him company, though. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Mr. Fishworth. Fish Fish Thank you. My pleasure. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Here we go. We found these sticks on the way home from nursery school. Look at my funny stick, Mummy. Oh. <laughs> Hello, I'm Sticker. <laughs> Hello, Sticky. My favourite is this funny knobbly stick. Sticky is the best stick, Tim. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> You're a very good stick finder, Topsy. I know. Look, she's even got a face, Tim. Yeah, <laughs> I've got a face. <laughs> she's funny. Yes, she is funny. What a wonderful stick collection, Topsy and Tim. Can you put them down here on this newspaper for me, please? OK, OK, Mummy. Thank you. <laughs> right, who's thirsty? Me! <laughs> Grandma! And Lossy! They're here! Hi, Jean. Oh, Hi, everyone. Grandma! Oh, what a walk we've had. We need a sit down, don't we, Mossy? Hello, Mossy. Oh. Oops. Good girl. Oh, dear. Sticks? Oh, Grandma. Oh. It's our fantastic stick collection. <gasps> yeah, we got these sticks mm. on the way home from nursery school. Did you? What's that one? It's my favourite one. Hello, Grandma. <laughs> His name's Sticky. Oh. He's got a face, head, arms and everything, really. Well, that's Hello. fantastic. Nice Hello. to meet you. Can I have a little look at him? Oh, isn't he lovely? I tell you what, Topsy, why don't you put him down with all his other sticks? I think he'll enjoy that because I want my Hello Grandma Hubble, Topsy and Tim. Squeeze! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Mossy likes our sticks. <laughs> I think Mossy and Grandma must be thirsty after their long walk. Into the kitchen, everyone. Oh, lovely, yes, please. Can I have apple juice, Mummy? Come on, Mossy. <laughs> Sticky! Mossy's got Sticky! Oh, Mossy. You know sticks aren't good for you. Mossy! Drinkies, Mossy Doggy! Mossy! Mossy! Mossy's hidden Sticky somewhere upstairs. I can't find oh, her. Mossy. Sorry, Topsy. It'll turn up. Don't worry. I'll go and help Topsy to look. We're good at finding things. Thank you, Tim. And tell Topsy not to worry. Sticky will turn up. OK. Please show us where you've hidden Sticky, Mossy. I'll let you cuddle Little Moon Bunny if you do. Come on, Mossy. She's really tired. It was a long walk to our house. Topsy, have you tried looking underneath Mummy and Dad's bed for Sticky? No. I'll go and look there for you. I look under Mummy and Dad's bed. I look in the bathroom. But no, Sticky. Mossy, where have you put Sticky? <laughs> Topsy, have you tried looking underneath Mossy and see if Mossy's lying on Sticky? I hadn't thought of that. Well, if I just look under here... Have you twins found Sticky yet? Not yet, Grandma! Hmm. Come on, Mossy. Please stand up. Get up. I know.
Well done, Tim. Oh, no, Sticky. Oh, I give up. I'll keep looking. Penny Luck, has Mossy shown you where she's put Sticky yet? Not yet, Grandma. Silly, sleepy dog. Come down and see what I found for you instead. And if she doesn't bring Sticky back soon, I'll check on her myself. Here she comes. Come on, honey bun. What about this long stick, Topsy? It doesn't have a face like Sticky. Mm -hmm. What about this one? No, thank you, but I just want Sticky. Aww. Come and sit here. Mm. Do you know what I do when I lose things? No, Grandma. I find something else to do. And then, just when I've stopped thinking about the thing I've lost, I find it. Does that work? Always. Just you wait and see. Come and have some juice. And that was when I saw something. It was in our letterbox. A letter! Tim, a letter! Is it for us? Is this for us? I don't know. Let's see. Can you read whose name's on the front, Topsy? It says... Topsy, Topsy and Tim! Tim. <laughs> we'll bring it into the kitchen and let's open it. Come on. Mummy, we've got a letter. Let's open it together, Tim. <gasps> Is this an invitation? <laughs> to a party? Let's have a look. Topsy and Tim are invited to Vinda's Knights and Princesses party. How oh, exciting. It's on Friday. Oh. <laughs> We're going to Vinda's party! We're going to Vinda's party! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mossy. What have you got there? <laughs> Sticky! Good girl, Mossy. Sticky, where were you? Thanks, Mossy. Oh, that's right, Topsy. Give her a lovely cuddle to say thank you. You were right, Grandma. When I forgot about Sticky, I got her back. You see? Well, I think it's time for me and this staff dog to get going. We've got a long walk home. <laughs> OK. Right, come on, Mossy. And that's when Mummy said, What, what are, are you going, going to wear to Vinda's fancy dress party? What are you going to wear to Vinda's fancy dress party, Topsy and Tim? I'm going to be a knight. Oh. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and I'm going to use Sticky as my sword. Lucky <laughs> you got her back then. And, and that, that said, Grandma, was that? Bye -bye. Remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Topsy's favourite stick, Sticky, went missing. But can you remember who ran away with Sticky? Was it Grandma? Or was it Mossy the dog? Answer is Mossy the dog. <coughs> Did you remember? Watch this. Squeeze! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Mossy likes our sticks. <laughs> I think Mossy and Grandma must be thirsty after their long walk. Into the kitchen, everyone. Oh, lovely, yes, please. Can I have apple juice, Mummy? <laughs> Come on, Mossy! <laughs> Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Quickly, Topsy! I'm coming as fast as I can! <sighs> Here comes another drip, Tim! Quick! Put the bowl under it! We've got a hole in our roof and the rain is dripping through our bedroom ceiling. Onto our bunk bed! 
got you. Well done, Tim. OK, leave the bowl up there and come down with me. Oh. Ready? Come on, Tim. One, two, three. Way. There we go. You too, Topsy. Lovely. One, One two, two, three. Way. Thank you. Now, can you two please help me take off these pillowcases? Okay. Why is there a hole in our roof, Mummy? Well, Dad thinks the tile's come loose, so he's coming home to fix it. I'll help him. Oh, he'd like that. Where right. am I going to sleep tonight, Mummy? Up here, on the top bunk as usual, Topsy. Dad will fix the roof and I will wash and dry your sheets. Oh, and little Moon Bunny, of course. Little Moon Bunny! <coughs> little Moon Bunny's my favourite cuddly toy of all. And now he's all wet. Can you help me dry little Moon Bunny, please, Mummy? No, Topsy. I think we need to wash little Moon Bunny. Why? Well, water that comes through the roof can be dirty. Please, will you help me put him in the washing machine? Yeah, you can have a nice ride. <laughs> Come on. After you. Good girl. So little Moon Bunny's having his wash. Hello, little Moon Bunny. When the doorbell rings. Oh, Topsy, should we get the door? I'm staying here with little Moon Bunny. our best friend. She lives three houses away. Her mummy's dropping her off for a play date. Yay, Kerry! Come on up and see the rain that's coming in. Bye, lovely! Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, Tim? I'm up here on the top bunk. Hi, Tim. Hi, Kerry. <gasps> wow, is that rain coming through your ceiling? Yeah, I'm catching the raindrop so Topsy's bunk bed doesn't get any wetter. Here comes another one. I'm ready for it. Got you. <laughs> Where's Topsy? She's downstairs. Little Moon Bunny is in the washing machine. He got rained on and now he's wet. OK, then I'll go and see her. OK. Yes, I hope so. Mummy! The washing machine's finished! Please, can you get little Moon Bunny out? Yes, of course. Quickly. Oh, oh, poor soggy little Moon Bunny. He looks all funny. Yeah. <laughs> he smells nice and clean, Topsy, though. Yes, he really does. Come on, Kerry. Let's put little Moon Bunny on the window sill to dry. Okay. Let's put him here, Kerry. Okay. It's Dad. He's here. Hello, gang. <laughs> what? A lot of rain! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Mwah. Where's this leak then? Hi, Dad. Come upstairs and I'll show you. Come in, Tim. Oh. <laughs> Look, rainwater is dripping into this bowl. I put it there myself. Ah, well done, Tim. Now, let's have a look out here. Can you see it, Dad? Can you see the hole in our roof? I can't see anything. Why? Because I need to go high up to the roof from outside. We need a long ladder. But we haven't got a long ladder. No, but we know a man who does. <laughs> <laughs> Dad phones Kerry's dad, Carson. Carson is a fireman. He works at Hatcham Fire Station. Look, it's Carson and his long ladder. It's 
It's a really long ladder. Hi, Daddy. Hey, Kerry. The rain stops at last, everybody. Yay! Carson? Yeah? We've got a hole in our roof and water's dripping through it. Little Moon Bunny got rained on in our bedroom. It's just as well I came round to help. Yeah! <laughs> Carson's long ladder reaches right up to the roof of our house. And now it's raining again. Hello in there. Hello, Dad. <laughs> Keep an eye on those drips, Tim. Tell me if they stop, please. OK, Dad. I can see the tile that slipped. Dad can see the tile that slipped, Carson. Can he fix it? Can you fix it, Dad? I don't know. I'm just trying to reach it. Still dripping, Dad. OK. Just a minute. This is taking ages. Yep, all done. The tile had just slipped down a bit. I put it back into place with a nail. Look, oh, Dad, the drips are stopping. Okay. Hooray! We fixed it, Carson. Hooray! Did I hear a cheer? Yes, we fixed the roof, Mummy. Hey, well done, Tim. Thank you for all of your help. <laughs> How's this a moon bunny, Mummy? He's lovely and dry and cuddling with Topsy. <laughs> well done. By bedtime, little moon bunny in my bunk bed were dry and everything was back to normal. It's still raining outside. Oh, I know, what a day. But you and little moon bunny <laughs> are warm and dry and cuddly. <laughs> <laughs> but then... Mummy, Daddy! Now there's rain coming through a bathroom ceiling. Oh, no. There must be another hole in our roof. I know what we all should do. We all need to move to a different house. What did you say, Topsy? Oh, nothing. And that's when Mummy said... Would, Would you, you like, like to move, move from, from this house, house to, a, to a, different a different house? Would you like to move from this house to a different house, Topsy? No, I didn't really mean this about a different house, Mummy. No, this is our house. Well, it's something to think about. I love our house. Good. So, let's have a proper look at this bathroom drip. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> And that, said Dad, was that. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> One of my cuddly toys was washed today. Can you remember which toy was washed? Was it a cuddly dog? Or was it a cuddly bunny? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a cuddly bunny. Called Little Moon Bunny. Great game! Good fun. See you soon. We can play. Mummy! Mummy! I made a butterfly mask. And I made a dinosaur mask. Rawr! Oh, wow, let me see. Oh, my goodness, did you have fun at Carrie's then? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Ugh, Mummy! It's that Ooh. bad smell again. I don't know what it is. Is it still really smelly? Yeah. I don't know where it's coming from. Can you help me find it? Today, there's a bad smell in our house. And we don't know what it is. I can't breathe, Mummy. I'm going to hold my breath. Oh. <coughs> Poo! The smell is really strong under here. Is it the 
sofa? Is that where it's coming from? It's the sofa. Oh. The bad smell's coming from the sofa, Mummy. Tim, look. It's that. I'm not touching it. Oh, what have you found? Oh. Oh. It's Dad's sports bag. Well done, you two. Oh. Oh, it's your dad's dirty football kit. He must have left it in there for weeks. Oh, oh what's that smell? <laughs> it's your smelly football kit that you left behind the sofa. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that'll be the estate agent. Who? The estate agent. Estate agents are people who sell houses. And hopefully this estate agent will sell our house. Why? Well, so we can move to a bigger, better house. We're moving today? No, no, we're not. Anyway, our house is very smelly right now. And you can't sell a smelly house, Topsy and Tim. Mm. Oh. I don't want anyone to sell our house. Hello, Mrs. O'Dell. Bert Burgess, Hatcham Estate Agent. Call me Joy. Thank you. Hello. Are you going to sell our house? Well, yes, I am. Are you the person who's going to show me around? Please, may I, Mummy? OK. I'm Topsy. Follow me. Okay. Sorry, it's a bit smelly in oh, here. Oh, yeah. This is the kitchen, and this is my dad. Hello there, I'm Bert. Hi, Brian O'Dell. Nice to meet you. And this is Topsy's twin brother, Tim. Oh. Oh, I didn't expect to meet a dinosaur today. Well, it's a lovely kitchen. <laughs> uh, oh, what's that smell? It's that! <laughs> Ew! Oh, Brian, that smelly football kit needs to be in the washing machine, not on top of it. I'm sorry, Bert. The house doesn't normally smell like that. It's just that Brian left his dirty football kit in his bag for weeks. Oh, that's all right. I've done it. Smelly. <laughs> Would you like to come and see this armpit? Oh, I'd love to. This garden's getting too small for Tim and me. Yes, well, I have seen bigger. Well, that's one of the reasons why we need a bigger house, a bigger garden. Sure. Yeah, as you can see, we've totally outgrown this one. It's, uh... mm -hmm. mm. Back in a minute. Tim, you okay? I can smell that bad smell again. Can you? I don't want to move to a different house. <laughs> oh, you. It won't be as bad as you think. You'll get a bedroom of your own and a bigger garden. Hey, you could even get a swing each. You know, twin swings. Would you like that? Yeah. Dad? Yes. You know you said that an estate agent couldn't sell a smelly house? Yeah. Well, I've hidden your bag. I've hidden your bag under your bed so the estate agent can't sell our house. <laughs> Are you sorry? I'm sorry, Dad. Good boy. Ugh, is that that smell again? Oh, eh? I uh, think the drains might need looking at. It's your smelly bag, isn't it, Bry? Is it up here? Bry? Yep, it's in our bedroom. What? Why? 
Tim hid it under the bed. He thought it might stop the estate agent selling the house. But he's very sorry. I'm sorry, Mummy. I'll wash it right now. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Tim, that's all right. You don't usually do silly things like that, do you? And it's a big day today, isn't it? Yeah, selling a house that you've been happy with, what's well, a big change for all of you? Why don't we show Bert around the rest of the house together, Tim? OK, come on! All right, lead on, Topsy and Tim. Set the table. Okay, guys, sit down for me. Grab your knives and forks. After the estate agent left, it was time for lunch. Mmm, sausages. Taste well, guys. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Help yourselves. Oh. Now, Mummy and Topsy, I made a promise to Tim today. When we move to a new house, it's got to have a bigger garden. So, there's room for twin swings. Twin swings! Mm. Actually, the house on Westview Avenue has a big garden. Perfect for twin swings. Wow! Mm. And that's when Mummy said, I, I think, think we, we should, should move there. there. I think we should move there. Me too. If we can have twin swings, <laughs> may I have some juice, Mummy? Of course you can. Of course we can have twin swings. Can I? Yes, you can. Now tuck in before it gets cold. And that's it, Mummy. What was that? that? <laughs> <laughs> to us today. This is our Topsy and Tim memory game. Let's play. <laughs> there was a bad smell coming from behind our sofa today. But can you remember what we found behind the sofa? Was it Dad's smelly sock? Or was it Dad's smelly sports bag? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is Dad's smelly sports bag. Watch this. <laughs> Poo! The smell is really strong under here. Is it the sofa? Is that where it's coming from? It's the sofa. Oh. The bad smell's coming from... Me. Tim, uh, look! It's wrapped! I'm not touching it! Oh, what have you found? Oh. 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 It's Dad's sports bag! Well done, you two! Oh. Oh. Ah. oh, it's your Dad's dirty football kit! He must have left it in there for weeks! Oh, that's... Oh, oh. What's that smell? <laughs> Is your smelly football kit that you left behind the sofa? Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Carry your eggs carefully through to the kitchen, Topsy and Tim. Nursery was really fun today. We made dinosaur eggs out of paper and glue. Mine is a Triceratops egg. Oh, and is yours still a Diplodocus egg, Tim? Yes. Diplodocus dinosaurs hatch out of eggs. Oh. Just like birds and snakes and crocodiles, Miss Maple told us. Oh, wow. Well, come on through to the kitchen. Let's pop them on the table. There you go. But the egg needs a warm, cosy nest to hatch. Oh, you have learnt a lot about eggs today, haven't you? Well done. Who wants some juice? Yes, please, Mummy. I'll get it. Oh, thank you, Tim. That means I can get the washing in. Wow, that is a big egg. Thank you, Tim. Topsy? I've got an idea. What? Maybe we could hatch a real egg. 
I don't think so. Look at this one. Mummy buys our eggs in the shop. They don't hatch. That's because they're too cold in the fridge. <laughs> if we make this big egg a warm nest, it might hatch. I don't think so. I'm going to try it. And so, I make a lovely cosy nest for the big egg. There you go, Eggie. Come on, Eggie. Hatch. Come, come. Hmm. Maybe you're still not warm enough. I know a place that's warm. Catching our warm airing cupboard, Eggie. I'll look after you. Topsy, I've made a warm, cosy nest for my egg. Tim, when it hatches, will a real chicken come out? I don't know. Maybe it won't be a chicken. It was a big egg. <laughs> I wonder what will hatch out of it. Hmm. Please may I leave the table, Mummy. Yes, if you've finished. Don't forget to tidy your plate away, please. Go, Eggie. A nice cheese sandwich for you to eat when you hatch. Hmm. I wonder what you'll hatch into. Maybe you're a dinosaur egg. Rawr! Can I see you, Tim? Wow, you've made the nest really good. Thank you. Topsy. Maybe that egg is a dinosaur egg. But... It's a secret. <laughs> when it hatches, the dinosaur can live under our bunk bed, Tim. <gasps> Twins! Bath time! Shh! After our bath, we brush our teeth. Straight into bed, Twins. I'll be back up to read your stories. Then we check our big dinosaur egg again. Come on, Topsy. Is it hatching? <sighs> Not yet. Oh. But, look. If we put our old baby monitor into the nest like this, when our little baby dinosaur hatches in the night, we'll hear it through the other one. Good idea. Topsy and Tim, Quick. into bed, please. Quick. Let's get into bed quickly and listen. Good night. Good night, Mummy. Good night. Snuggly down. Sleep tight. Good night, Mummy. Tim? Not yet. Can I have a go at listening? Yeah, okay. Can you hear anything, Topsy? Is the egg hatching? I don't think so, Tim. My turn, please. Thank you. We listened and listened. 
we didn't hear anything. And then I think we fell asleep. Until... About this. Sorry, Mummy. It's our dinosaur egg. It was going to be our very own pet dinosaur. But it's an egg from the fridge. It's a chicken egg. I'm not happy about this. Sorry, Sorry Mummy. Mummy. Right, you two go back to bed and I'll clear this up. Mummy, don't be angry at Topsy. It was my idea, and it was such a big egg. No. I helped as well, Tim. It was both of us. Sorry, Mummy. All right, you two. We'll talk about it in the morning after a good night's sleep. No, no, Mummy. Now, Topsy and Tim, eggs from the fridge won't hatch. Even if you put them in a warm and cosy nest. And they certainly won't hatch into dinosaurs. Good, because I don't think I want a dinosaur as our pet. Neither do I. It would be a bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> and it wouldn't fit under our bunk bed. <laughs> <laughs> and that's been Mummy said. I don't, I don't think, think our new house, house will be big, big enough for a pet dinosaur. I don't think our new house will be big enough for a pet dinosaur. But it will be big enough for a smaller pet. We'd love a pet, Mummy. <laughs> yes, that'd be much better than a dinosaur. Yes, it would. Now, well, good night, Twintastic Topsy and Twin Tabulous Tim. Sleep tight. Mummy, mm. do rabbits hatch out of eggs? No. Night, night. And that said, Mummy, was that. Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Tim built a nest, but can you remember what he put in the nest to hatch? Was it Little Moon Bunny or was it an egg? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is an egg. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Our friend Ray is here today. Lift, lift it in. We're doing a play called The Three Little Pigs at Nursery School with him. Wow, my costume looks really good. I've got a house costume. Can I try it on? Yeah. Whoa. Right. You put the box like this, Tim. All of our costumes are different, and we're showing them to Dad while Mummy's at a meeting. <laughs> wow. You make a great house, Tim. Dad, I can't really get it on. Okay, just put the hands on. So, can you help me? Yep, yep, yep. yep. Thank you. Hey! I'll put your mask on for you. Ooh, there's a mask, come on. In the Three Little Pigs, I'm playing the part of the three houses. They get blown down by the wolf. Oh, thank you. Okay. There you go. Put it on there. Thank you. Oh, it's a good mask. Hello. <laughs> I think it suits me. <laughs> so, how does the costume work, Tim? I'm a house made of straw. See? Mm -hmm. So you just twist the house round. And now, I'm a house made of sticks. <laughs> Brilliant. And now, I'm a house made of bricks. Hey. It's a great costume, Tim. Thank you. I like your tie. Now, 
Mummy told me you all need to practice what you have to say in the play. Is that right? Oh, yes. But the house doesn't say anything. Mm -hmm. The narrator does. That's me. I tell the story. Oh, and we act it out. OK. Come on, then. Let's see. OK. But we need the big bad wolf. Oh, Topsy! Topsy! Coming! I'll huff and I'll puff <laughs> and I'll blow your house down. <gasps> Boys, there's a wolf in the house. No, it's me, Dad. Oh, phew. <laughs> So, we're going to practice your play, Topsy. Yes. Ready, Mr Wolf? Yes. <laughs> so, Tim, at the beginning of the play, you are a straw house. Oh. Stand there, please. OK. And Topsy, the wolf's not in yet. Sit there, please. OK, Ray. Thank you. So, I say our story begins when... It's at the door, Daddy. It's a lady and a man. Oh, it's the people who are coming to look around our house today. Oh. Mummy told me, but I forgot. I'll get the door. Oh, OK. Hi, uh, how you doing? Our house is for sale. Trish, I've right. come in. It's a bit messy, sorry. Oh, don't worry. And these people might buy it. We're practising our nursery school play. Oh. It's called <laughs> The Three Little Pigs. Oh. Who are you? We're Sam and Trish. And who are you? Oh, I'm the three houses. I'm the wolf. Rawr! And I'm the narrator. Gosh, are those your real names? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're Topsy and Tim. We live here. And this is our friend Ray. <laughs> Sam and Trish are here to look around our house. Are you going to buy our house? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We need to look around it first. Come and see our kitchen. Oh, lead the way, <laughs> Big Bad Wolf. Your house bit on our own? No, not yet. I need to show Sam and Trish the house with Topsy. Sorry. OK. I'll come back later to play with you. This is our art stuff. We've got paintbrushes and beads. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fridge with all the bar pictures on. Oh. <laughs> That's our table. Oh. And this is the back door. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, hmm. can I show Trish and Sam the upstairs rooms now? Oh, of course you can. Thanks for helping, Topsy and but Tim. But I need to show them the garden first. Oh, I knew that. Come on. Trish and Sam look at our garden. And then Tim shows them upstairs. <laughs> I'll get it. Go on. Ooh, the house is stuck on the stairs. When are we going to practice the play, Topsy and Tim? Soon, Ray. Yes, we will be long, Ray. So this is your room, is it, Tim? Yes. And mine. I sleep on the top bunk, bed, and I sleep on the bottom bunk. <laughs> Aww. Is this your bunny, Topsy? Yes. It's Little Moon Bunny. What else could we show them, Tim? <gasps> Mummy and Dad's bedroom. Oh, careful. Oh, come with me. Hmm? We like your house, Topsy and Tim. Well done, twins. I'll make our visitors some tea and you can finish showing them around. OK, Dad. Can we have biscuits too, Dad? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. So we get biscuits. Chocolate biscuits. Yum. <laughs> And jammy biscuits. While well, Sam and Trish look at every room in our house. Again. Good balancing, Tim. You like a biscuit? Oh, not for me, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Thanks for showing us round, Topsy and Tim. You have a lovely family home. 
Did you know something? We've lived here since we were babies. Aww. That's nice to know, Tim, because I'm having a baby. <laughs> 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 so Look. you've got a baby in your tummy, like Tony Walters, Mum? Well, two, actually. <gasps> two? <laughs> twins? Yeah, we're expecting twins. <laughs> twins? Like us? Yes. Twins are the best. <laughs> yes, they are! <laughs> <laughs> so we should let Trish sit down, shouldn't we? Yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> so are you going to buy your house, then? <laughs> I don't know. We've got to think about it first. Would you like to watch us practice our play while you think about it? We'd love to stay and watch a little bit of it. Great! <laughs> Please, may we, Daddy? I don't see why not. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you do live here with your twins. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and that's when Sam said... This, this is just the sort of happy house we'd like to buy. This is just the sort of happy house we'd like to buy, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> Ooh. The babies are moving around inside my tummy. I think they like this house too. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Topsy and Tim. Let's show the grown-ups our play. Yes, Ray's been very patient. Yes. Ready to watch your play now, please, Ray? Tim, you stand here. And Topsy, the wolf's not in yet. OK. I'll Ready, sit everyone? Yes. Yes. yes! The three little pigs. Our story begins when the first little pig built a house of straw. And you're about to meet him now. <laughs> and that, said Ray, was that. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> we were practicing our nursery school play today. Can you remember who dressed as a wolf? Was it Tim? Or was it Topsy? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is Topsy. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. <laughs> Be good. We will. I know what you three are like. Don't go getting messy. We won't. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye-bye. When Dad's in charge, it can mean only one thing. <laughs> it's time for a dead rodeo! Time. Now, what should we have for lunch? Sandwiches? Yes! Yes! That's special sandwiches! Oh well. <laughs> and I'll tidy. Thanks, Topsy. Did you wash your hands properly, Dad? <laughs> yes, Tim, did you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Where do we start? Making Dad special sandwiches is fun. One piece of bread. Thank you. Start with. Good boy. And then a slice of yummy cheese. Mm -hmm. OK. More bread, please. And then some of the yummy lettuce. Oh, and Dad's special ingredients. <gasps> Peanut butter. Mm. OK. Yum. Oh, looking good. OK, finally, one more slice. 
And what did we do last? Cut it in three. Good boy. Tada! Topsy! Topsy, we're having Dad's special sandwiches for lunch. Yummy! Coming. Oh. Cheese, peanut butter, and lettuce. Yum. Yum. Ready? Yep. Steady. Moo! Moo. Good job, you two. Thanks for lunch, Dad. What should we do now? Well, since it's such a nice day, I'm going to wash the car. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Can we help wash the car, Dad? No, because you heard Mummy. She doesn't want you to get messy. Oh, But can we watch you? We won't get messy if we're just watching. Yeah. Please, Tom, please. Dad splashes soapy water onto the car to get it clean. Washing the car is fun, but watching Dad wash the car isn't. Dad, please can we help you wash the car? Oh no. Anyway, I'm nearly done. <laughs> Boing! I'll get you for that. No, no, Topsy, no! I'm not going to get you. I'm going to get Dad. No. Uh, thank you, Topsy. I'll have that. Oh. Okay, I give in. You can help me. You might get less messy if you do. <laughs> you can clean a wheel each. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Okay. There you go, Tim. I'll clean this wheel for you, Dad. Thank and I'll clean this wheel. Thank you. It's all soapy. It's all wet. Dad, come and see. This is really fun. Great work, twins. OK, now I need, in this bucket, some clean, soapy water, please. OK. We'll get it. We squeeze in the car shampoo. That's enough. A bit more, actually. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And we add the water. Whoa! Come on, Tim. Let's give this to Dad. Oh, hello, Mr. Fishwick. Hi, Fishwick. Mr. Fishwick. Hello, Topsy and Tim. Oh, look at you two. We're helping Dad wash the car. Lucky Dad. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Fishwick. <laughs> You go, Dad. Oh, good. Now, let's finish this job and get you two cleaned up before Mummy gets home. I like that cleaning stick, Dad. Can <laughs> I have a go, please? No, sorry. Oh. <laughs> 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 now, time for the really fun bit. Yay! <laughs> Tim, you got soap all over your hair. <laughs> Ready, set. No! <laughs> again, again, again. Okay. Yeah. told us to put on our dry clothes and then we could go out for a drive in the clean car. She said that she wanted to show us something. Where are we going, Mummy? What did you want to show us? I want to show you a house that's for sale on Westview Avenue. I've just been to see it. And that's when Dad said... 
Mummy thinks it would be the perfect house for us to move to. Mummy thinks it would be the perfect house for us to move to. <laughs> House? I don't want to. I like our house. Oh, don't worry, Tim. Maybe the house I found is nicer than this one. How does a bigger garden sound? Hmm? <laughs> or how about a bedroom of your own? And it's got its own drive for washing the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, it's raining on my clean car. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Should we go and see the new house in the rain? OK, gang? Yes! <laughs> Good. <laughs> and that, said Mummy, was that. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today we helped Dad wash the car. But can you remember the colour of the car? Was it red? Or was it blue? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is blue. Watch this. <laughs> now, time for the really fun bit. Yay! <laughs> Tim, you got soap all over your hair. <laughs> Ready, set. Fun. See you soon. On the day we moved house, I was awake early. I was too excited to sleep. Topsy, are you awake? Yes. Shh. Tim, you'll wake up Mummy and Dad. Oh, sorry. But I just wanted to check in the garden and see if Dad packed my quad bike. He did. Great. Remember that time when Tony March wouldn't get off your quad bike, Tim? Yes, I remember. <laughs> Hi, Tony Welch. How are you? I'm fine, Mrs Odell. Thanks for inviting me to play with Tim. Oh. Hi, Tony. Hi, Tim. Hello, you two. <laughs> Hi, Elaine. Hi, Elaine. Come hey, on. Tony, come on. Bye, Tony. Be good. While we wait for Vinda, Mummy shows me how to make icing. <laughs> Yummy! <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Oh, Mummy, where is Vinda? Oh, I'm sure Vinda will be here any minute. Now, come on. Let's ice these cakes before the icing goes hard. <laughs> Tony, my turn now. Please, can I just have one more go? <laughs> Tim, I remembered something else that was fun that we did in this house. Remember when we looked after Carrie's guinea pigs? But they got out of their cage. <laughs> listen, listen. Bailey. Well done. I think they like 
like it in your hand, Dad. Can I hold? Yes, you can. Oh, you can. If we didn't see them before, gently, gently. then you might have brought them to the shops. There. Well done, oh. Topsy and Tim. I think I you still like them. You are top class pet sitters. You really are. <laughs> Bailey and Poppy are very lucky. Thank you for your help, Mr. Fishwick. Thank you. <laughs> That's my pleasure. Gently now. Do you think Mummy and Dad are awake yet? No. I think we're the only people awake in our house. So quiet. Listen. Monsters with Dad. <laughs> yes, I remember. Hatch, Ted! <laughs> Here come the pillows! And the pillows! <laughs> I got Little Moon Bunny! I'm getting Eddie Teddy and Dr. Sausage Dog! And I've got your books, twins! Thank you! Do they monster now? <laughs> no, 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 get back, get back, get back, get back! There's two of them! No! No, I'm being eaten! No, no, they're eating me up! No! We've woken up early, before Mummy and Dad. Because we're excited about moving house today. Tim, i got an idea. What? We could dress up and surprise Mummy and Daddy. Oh, yeah. Come on. Um, oh, look at this. Oh, I have to this. No, actually, this. Yeah, this. Do I look good? Yes. You look good, Tim. Thank you. <laughs> Glasses! <laughs> and binoculars. And a hat. Do you remember when Tony and I dressed up as a horse for Vinda's birthday party? <laughs> Let's practice walking. Ready? Ready. Left. No right. Left. 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 Right. Hurry up, you two. Wow. <laughs> Come on, Tim. Let's go and wake up Mummy and Dad for the last time ever in this house. Yeah. <gasps> I thought I heard something. What are you two up to? Mummy, I couldn't sleep. We're too excited Shh. about moving house. Oh, now, come on, let's get all this off. Get back into bed quickly for me. Go. Let me get quickly, quickly. Back into bed, good boy. Oh, there's feathers up there. <laughs> good girl. Snuggle up with little moon bunny. And that's when Mummy said, I remember when you were tiny little babies sleeping in cots in this room. I remember when you were tiny little babies sleeping in cots in this room, Topsy and Tim. And now you're all grown up. Please try and go back to sleep for me. We will. OK. It's a good boy. My night. Okay. My night, darling. I'll try. Good girl. Night, night, little moon bunny. Night, night, Eddie, Teddy. Topsy, what do you think moving house day is going to be like? I don't know. Shh. 
try and get to sleep. OK. Of course, moving house day was amazing. And we got a very special goodbye present from our neighbour, Mr Fishwick. Wait, wait, you've forgotten something. Hello, Mr Fishwick. Hello and bye-bye, Mr Fishwick. Now, I couldn't let my friends Topsy and Tim leave without a little present. Yeah, I hope that's OK, Brian yeah. Joy. A rabbit! A rabbit! <laughs> well, you'll need another one to keep him company, though. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Mr, Mr. Fishwick. Fishwick. Thank you. My pleasure. Can we keep him, Dad? Please, Mummy. Please, double please. And that's when Dad said, Yes, you can keep the rabbit. Yes, you can keep the rabbit, Topsy and Tim. Yay! Uh, Mr Fishwick told us all about it. So the rabbit's food and hutch are already at our new house. <laughs> He's wiggling his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr Fishwick. Bye, <laughs> fingers. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Come